Alright, so now that you can hear me, because the music is not impossibly loud, um, this is my birthday stream. Uh, it's technically not my birthday. My birthday is Friday and today is Sunday, but uh, this is how it turned out. This is my first cooking stream since 2017. I used to do these with some frequency in 2016 and 2017, but then life took me on a bunch of wild and crazy adventures. Like right now I'm living in a different country than I was the last time I did that. So it's crazy times. Um, but in a, in a, a dramatic return to the world of cooking, um, what, what better excuse than baking a birthday cake? I don't have my mixer with me because my mixer is currently outside in the sub-freezing temperatures in case there are bugs because my last apartment had bugs. So we're going to be trying to mix things by hand. I don't know how that's going to go, but when have I ever let rules and recipes and stuff like that stop me? I haven't. That's, that's the trick. So what we're going to do today is be extra, really, really extra. Um, which actually, I don't know that calling things extra was like common terminology the last time I did this. Um, but we're going to make, at least the plan is to make banana cake. These are my bananas. They look very appetizing. With a peanut butter frosting, a um, caramelized banana layer in between, and a chocolate ganache. How is that gonna work? I don't know, I don't always use recipes, and since I'm in a uh, subpar baking situation, as far as not knowing my way around the kitchen and not having all of the food quite at my disposal, there's gonna be a lot of improvisation. Um, if you've been following my streams for a while, then you know improvisation is something I've struggled with in the past, and so any opportunity I get to practice improvising is good for me. Well, no, but so the thing is, we're gonna talk a little bit about bananas and things. So we wound up having to put these in the fridge for a while, which made them brown earlier than they might normally have done. Um, and then they were in the freezer for a while, which is part of why they're so mushy. So when you freeze bananas, um, they the starch in them converts to sugar, which is why they become so much more delicious and good for baking. So you'll see I'm actually, um, gonna heat things up we don't have a microwave um, so I have decided spontaneously that probably the best thing to do given that I don't have my stand mixer right now is going to be to melt the butter and melt, mix things in with that instead of having to beat softened butter with a whisk or a spoon by hand they, they do they do have they do have ice you see the ice I feel like there we go now they, no, wait, no, there's some more ice. They're a little bit frosty, that's okay. Frosty bananas. <laughs> Miss Nabubu, thank you so much. Yeah, but so, so having blackened bananas for baking is not a problem. You probably don't wanna just eat them for fun, um, but for baking, they're actually better this way. In fact, <laughs> bananas on the rocks, indeed. Um, we're gonna go ahead and mush up our bananas. Who here has not worked with frozen bananas before? You'll notice, oh, well, in addition to the uh, ice, you'll notice that it's really squishy. So this is really uh, unappetizing, but we're gonna do this. Hi, Feistel. I see you're getting into the, uh, into the banana spirit. So I'm like splitting this open here. Okay, well, Oh, that's right, I forgot, you're a farmer. Um, we open it up and it's this like horrible gloopy mess. And you just like squeeze it right out and it's really unfortunate, but it's more delicious this way, trust me. <laughs> I'm really selling it quite well, I know. Right? Um, so I'll be talking through a little bit some of the cooking and baking differences uh, that I've noticed between the US and Canada. For anyone who's missed the memo, I have relocated to Canada after living my whole life in the US because my mom's Canadian, so I have that power. Um, so for those of you who are not Americans, 
If I'm like, look, I've got this big old block of butter, you're like, well, yeah, how else do you do butter? Well, let me tell you, in the US, our butter comes in sticks by default, and so it's much easier to measure because the sticks are a uh, half cup each, and so I can eyeball from sticks how many tablespoons or cups I'm using, which I understand. That's the imperial system, not the metric system, and so um, for some of you, I'm speaking crazy moon language. Um, but so for me, this has actually been a tricky thing to get used to as somebody who bakes as much as I do. Well, they're also, they're more expensive. They're not just the brand name. And then you also have to pay a premium for the convenience of having them in sticks. And I, nothing if not too cheap for that. So yeah, um, so butter coming in sticks normally is very much an American thing. And there may be other parts, places in the world that, that are like that. I just don't know what they are. So we're gonna melt some of this butter. I have no idea how much butter this is. I don't use recipes. I'm sorry, friends. Please forgive. So, and I think we've got uh, we've got a couple of Canadians, like born and bred Canadians, in attendance here who can correct me if I'm wrong. But it seems to me that Canada is kind of halfway between the UK and the US in a lot of ways. Um, that is true of measurements, temperature, size. Um, and also units of volume. This is volume. Do we have any scientists in the house? Is volume the right word? Um, so, yeah, yeah, I mean, oh yeah! For those of you who are not familiar with Canadian brands and norms, this is, this is, you may have seen, I think it's some, it's made viral news occasionally, but this is no name brand butter. Okay, for all my Americans in attendance, look, it's bilingual. Isn't that exciting? I'm gonna learn to get better at French. The foods around. Volume and size are the same thing. Okay. I just, I'm trying to think of like the right, cause it's not weight, even though people tend to measure in what I think of as weight. Um, using a scale, if you're not American, using measuring spoons and measuring cups, apparently you use a scale. I have a scale. Do I have the scale with me? It, no, it's it's packed somewhere. I haven't actually gotten in the habit of using it. Someday I will. Um, oh man, you know, I think that I think that an obscure butter producer should sponsor me. I, I want an obscure butter producer producer sponsorship. Can somebody get on that for me? <laughs> I mean, I would. I really do want to do more cooking and baking streams that will be less of a hot mess than this one. This one is going to go up on YouTube, so everybody say hi to YouTube, just because YouTube has been asking for a little while, Lauren, when are you going to do another cooking stream? Because YouTube actually has the archives of some of these in the past. In fact, I think including a, a, banana, a banana cake that I made in years past. Oh, okay. So by the way, my roommate is here in attendance, and she's telling me where she put things. Yes, you do, Yomavai. You get to be one of the YouTube greeters. Um, so I am originally from the U.S., um, but my mother, as I've mentioned before, my mother is Canadian from Southern Ontario, and apparently I have such a terrible ear for accents that um, I have grown up with a Canadian accent even though I lived in Texas most of my life. So living in Texas, I got asked frequently what country I was from. <laughs> So now that I move here, everyone assumes that I'm from here because I sound like I'm from here. Um, so that's fun. All right, so I, what I've got here is some arbitrary quantity of butter. I'm guessing it's probably mm, maybe just shy of a, of a quarter cup, actually. Let's, let's put some more in. Let's try to round it out to probably about a quarter cup. Quarter cup, half cup, stick, stick of butter. I don't know. <laughs> do you want do you want to come say hi like actually wave hi nope. nope okay she does not want to come and wave hi she's hanging out with her doggy okay she streams too so she's she's aware of the streaming way of life I don't know is it a streaming way of life maybe it is I think it is. Oh man. Yeah, I so I really enjoy Hey, folks, should we brown this butter? Should we brown this butter? Do you think we should brown this butter? Do you think we should brown this butter? 
I think we should brown this better. Does anyone here know about browning butter? Okay. Okay, so Clown Hound here, um, I know I know him as Jester. Um, so I'm going to call him Jester. Sorry, Jester, you're going to get called Jester. I know you hate being called Jester because your name is Jester. <laughs> so browning butter is... Um, butter, when you melt it down, it has different parts. We're going to be really smart and put a hot thing over here. So you can see like there's like this like foamy bit and there's a liquid bit but in between the foamy bit and the liquid bit there's like little bit bits. That's the official terminology, bit bits. No, there's um there's solids even when you melt butter. And so when you brown the butter what you're doing is you're cooking the solid part of the butter in the liquid part of the butter until it gets a little bit toasty. Um, it's very, very, very easy to do wrong, but it gives it gives what you're baking with it a very distinctive, like almost nutty flavor to it. Um, so we're gonna yes, brown butter is really great. It's it's particularly good in things where the flavor will get to stand alone. In this case, we're gonna add so many flavors to everything that this cake, in addition to being a hot mess, is going to probably drown out the flavors but we're browning the butter anyway. Um, well, no, so, so it doesn't mean that, so calling it nutty doesn't necessarily mean that it tastes like a specific nut. It's more of like a, a category of flavor, a category of savory flavor is nutty. Oh man, hold on. I'm so excited that I have this microphone so I can just make you hear the sound of the cooking butter. Although you might be able to hear it from over there too. Oh, sorry. I'm the only mod present, so I need to mod. Um, hey Axel, what's up? It is the birthday. The whole weekend is birthday. In fact, Monday might be birthday too, because um, my birthday presents have not arrived from Texas and I'm gonna have to do a birthday celebration like video call with my family once I get those. So that will also be birthday. So if that happens tomorrow, then birthday is extended until tomorrow. Whole week, that's pretty good. But yeah, so, so we're gonna brown the butter, which like I said, is very easy to overdo because it's a very, very, very quick change between not done and overdone. And you really, really don't want it to get burned. So right now it's still a yellow color, but what we want is for it to turn the color of a of a penny, so copper. And so you can kind of tell from the smell and from the color of it when it's good to go. We're gonna take another gross goopy banana. If anyone doesn't like textures that are gross and goopy, I apologize and I recommend you not look at this. Yeah, it smells fine. <laughs> yes, no no horrible trumpets. What What is playing right now? I'm gonna drain, there's, there's some liquid. Look at that, it's just very appetizing. Yum, yum. I've had people who were like, oh, that's fine. Who are very, very negative about my poor bananas. I did, Nick. I'm sorry I didn't send messages, but yes. Oh, I need to have, do we have any cloths for me to dry my hands on? Uh, spice, put other on. Aha, thank you. <laughs> no, they don't make that. They, they're not noisy. Unlike the butter. The butter is being very noisy right now. Oh my gosh, Vinny, are you giving more for subscriptions? Thank you. Yes, Nick, it did come through. Thank you. I really appreciate it. You and Blues and Samovar, I think, sent me, sent me presents, which I very much appreciate. And I will try to play and stream the games that I'm given. Um, Oh man, it's beginning to smell good. Mm. You can't smell it, but if you could, you would be like, mm, that smells good. It smells good. Confirmation, the roommate has spoken. So, <clears throat> we're just gonna do this. I don't know if you can see the colors changing. Can you see there's the bits? Do you see the bits? 
Like underneath the bubbles, once you have like the bubbles like this and the foam goes away, that's that's when you've entered the stage of butter cooking where it's gonna be able to brown. But if you can see, there's these there's these bits, the 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 milk solids. And that's what we're trying to get to a nice uh Thank you. No, it's 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 rainbow because I used to have this really nice rainbow rolling pin and um and spoon that my mom actually got from a piano student who was French. Um, but unfortunately, I lost those in the great mousening. Um, so you know how I said I didn't do any cooking streams in 2018 or 2019? Well, I moved to Pennsylvania, um, which is in the northeastern U.S. Okay, I'm beginning to smell. It's beginning to change a bit. It's still yellow. It's not quite brownish yet. Um, so we're going to keep an eye on this because pretty, pretty soon it's going to hit the color that we want it to be. And then in order for it to not burn, I'm probably going to dump the cold bananas in. It's cooking, yay. But yeah, while I was in Pennsylvania, at one point I was home in Texas for a few months and a mouse, uh, a, a few mice invaded the place, my apartment in Pennsylvania, and ruined everything in my kitchen. Um, which we had the sequel to the great mouse name, which is the roach infestation of my previous apartment right before this one. So it's been a, it's been a, it's been a, a time. <laughs> We're borrowing this camera from my roommate because my cameras are all very set up. Um, they're harder to move around. So I might invest in getting a secondary camera. All right, I don't know if you can, can you see, can you see the color of it beginning to change? It's beginning to get a little redder. A little rustier. I can smell it. Oh hey! Seriously, hello! Alright, so we're stirring and I'm not gonna talk as much as I'm yeah, 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 yeah. I can see the color. Alright, I'm gonna turn off the temperature. Turn off the temperature, Lauren. Turn off the heat. Did you ever do that when you were a kid? Did you ever say I have a temperature instead of I have a fever? I definitely did. Alright, it's definitely, definitely brownish reddish. It's the color we want. I'm gonna dump this guy in. <laughs> that was exciting, wasn't it? Look at that. Yeah. Oh man. Smell that. Vinny, thank you so much for giving subscriptions to people. You know, I have, I have, I have a camera tripod. Why do I not, why am I not using my camera tripod? That's a good question. Oh my God, we have a hype train. What is a hype train and why are we getting one? <laughs> All right, my roommate is providing audio for the hype train. My goodness. <laughs> All right, so, well, can, well, I, I feel I am honored, Chester, to be the first channel on Twitch that you have been subscribed to. All right, well, this is going to be kind of weird texturally. <laughs> Vinny, are you single-handedly the hype train? I think you're a hype train, Vinny. This is going to be really interesting. I'm just like looking at... Oh, it smells so good though. Mmm. It smells delicious. I might have to get... They get a bad emote from Twitch? We don't want a bad emote. We want good... Oh! That is one thing I want to work on. I want to get emotes for my channel. I've been talking about it for years. The emotes we have were mostly ones that were done in 2017 because that's the last time I consistently put the time and energy into improving my streaming channel that it deserves. <laughs> Thank you, Vinny. <laughs> All right, so I have these containers of sugars. I need to remember where I put my camera thing because that would be fantastic, wouldn't it? I would have like, I could put my camera here and it could show the things next time because we'll do this again. Next time, I will have my tripod and cameras and things will be set up and it'll be amazing. Hi, Brian, welcome. We are baking for the first time since 2017. I mean, I've baked since 2017, but not on stream. 
I'm doing okay. I'm doing pretty well. I'm, a, I'm doing some mad science here. All right. Yes. I remembered where those were. Measuring cups. Now these are, I think, primarily an American thing because I think that most of the rest of the world, again, uses weights for measuring things, but I don't because this is how I learned to cook. And I don't really measure things anyway. This is just kind of to get a rough idea because I don't know how much butter is in there. And I assume that two, I put two bananas in there, didn't I? Yes, I'm definitely still getting used to the new kitchen because we had to put the kitchen into storage while we dealt with a potential bug problem. Um, and my roommate very kindly <laughs> cleaned it up for me right in time for this, which I appreciate. Um, but the next, just think of how much more organized the next stream will be. I'll have graphics that aren't four years old and cameras and backgrounds and here. Let's, let's scoot. Hold on. We're going to make this look less sad. Okay. I am a true professional streamer, TM. No, I try to be. I try to. I try to be a little more together when I'm doing a stream that I think is going to be like broader reach. But this is this is us. This is our community here. Yes, there are metal measuring cups. There's all sorts of kinds. In fact, I used to, back when I streamed cooking last, I had a series of uh, a plastic measuring cup series that they were in the series or the shape of matryoshka dolls, the Russian nesting dolls. Those were really fun. I think that I might have lost those to the Great Mousening too. A lot of what I have I lost to the Great Mousening. Hmm. All right, so we put the sugar in there. Brown sugar, which I really like. Brown sugar has a higher moisture content than white sugar because it has molasses in it, which is delicious. Yes, no, the community is the most important part. And we have that. Thank you, that's you, all of you, your community, and I appreciate yeah. you. Oh, so organized and pretty. There's my vanilla extract. Okay, I got it down. No, honestly, like, a lot of people, and I know I, know I say this a lot, but a lot of people talk about the toxicity of the internet and online communities, and while I know that that exists, and I've seen them elsewhere, oh, Oh my gosh, thank you, Axel. Don't, don't lick vanilla extract. Don't do it. Resist the temptation better than I did just then. Um, oof, now my hands are sticky. <laughs> um, oh, right, I was talking about the uh, toxicity of the internet. We don't have that, though. No, Jester? No. <laughs> no, so I put a little bit of vanilla in here. I don't want to do too much vanilla just because I uh, I don't want to overpower the flavor of the brown butter and the everything else we're putting in here. So this is going to be the base of the cake itself, I think. I was going to caramelize bananas on the side to put between the layers, um, which is basically doing what I just did, but a little bit different. Should we do that? While we wait for this to cool down, let me get some eggs. I think we only need one egg. One egg. Will an egg do? No. Oh! Oh, right, I got buttermilk for this. That's gonna cool it right down. I'm doing everything that's not, I'm doing things not in the order you're supposed to do things in. Don't do what I do here. This is not, um, this is not me teaching you how to cook. I will do. I will do streams where I teach you how to cook, um, if we can get back into the habit of cooking streams, which are very fun, especially because um, Americans largely don't get taught to cook. Uh, so it is helpful to have somebody help you out with that. I had a friend in my first job after college who helped me learn to cook. Um, this is gonna be really, really weird. I'm doing absolutely nothing the way I'm supposed to, and that's okay. Normally, when you make butter, or not make butter, normally when you make a cake, 
You cream the butter and the sugar together and then you add eggs. Now, I don't have a stand mixer so I didn't do that and also I browned the butter so I didn't do that. And right now we are trying to cool this down enough that I can put an egg in it. Oof. Hmm. That's gonna be interesting. Will it be good? I can't promise. But it will be fun getting there. Um, let's put some regular sugar in because I think it needs a little more sugar. And we did brown sugar before. So we're gonna add some white sugar, which does not have molasses. Put that in. Uh, mix that together. Then we're gonna put an egg in, which is I'm gonna do completely wrong. This is completely not how you're supposed to do this. I have literally no idea how this is gonna turn out, folks. Um, yeah, I don't know, not animal tested. I think it's gonna be more like, oh, thanks, Jesus beard. Um, not animal tested, that's the problem. There's not gonna be aeration in the cake, really, so I think it's going to be more like an oil cake, yeah. I think it's gonna be closer to a quick bread. To be honest, though, anytime that you are making um, banana bread, uh, it, it or, or banana cake and banana bread are very similar, if not exactly the same thing. Hold on. We're gonna, um, we're gonna test my egg. Sorry for the volume here. I probably should have muted. Okay. So it sits on the bottom, but it's, so it's not floating, but it's standing on, it's standing on one end. I think that means it's still good, but beginning to go. Could somebody look that up or should I look that up? Should I look that up? I can look that up. I'm trying to remember. Yes, get water, hydrate yourself. <clears throat> Food is hard, but I also don't do what I'm supposed to do, ever, so. Um, like you'll notice we're not measuring anything, we're not following the steps or the directions that we normally would. Um, so the reason why I didn't test the egg here, or why I chose to test the egg here, was because um, I haven't really been cooking for several weeks and these eggs might be several weeks old. So I wanted to make sure they're still good. Normally the eggs that I have in the fridge are like two weeks old and it's fine. Oh, another, oh, thank you, Minelli. Another fun thing to uh, point out to our viewers from other countries is that um, I think in the UK and possibly in the rest of Europe, uh, eggs have a protective coating left on them that, that, that exists naturally um, so they can be left outside uh, not outside but like outside of the fridge um, they can be left on the counter in the US our eggs are power washed so that protective coating is gone which means that you're supposed to refrigerate eggs I think because salmonella can get on the eggshell and that's not good so so that's 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 a difference between the two countries um, so if you see me taking mine out of the refrigerator and you wonder why I'm doing that because you're from a country where the eggs are different, there is your explanation. Um, it, it appears that the situation with eggs is the same between the U.S. and Canada. Um, I should probably turn my oven on, shouldn't I? <coughs> Does our oven run hot or cold? A little bit cold. A little bit cold. Okay. A little bit cold. Hanukkah yeah. eggs. So I think it's because the eggs that have not been power washed don't look as pretty and food in the US is uh, like the priority is on both uh, predictability and, and then sameness, which is why our apples all look the same, and on appearance rather than um, on taste um, and a certain degree, a certain kind of longevity. So. I'm, no, I don't need a second egg. It's gonna be a really small cake, theoretically. Um, we'll see. Well, this is happening. We're doing this. This is what we're doing here. Hi, Nick. Yes. Well, cake for some for for some some definition of cake. All right. Now we're gonna do our dry ingredients. So when you see me make a cake, when I'm making a cake properly, you will see that I will put together my wet ingredients and my dry ingredients in separate bowls. We're not doing this now, we're just dumping everything in, the, in one bowl. Um, I have 
no idea if this is gonna turn out. It's gonna be fun. Um, so the shininess of the apples, I believe, has to do with a food grade wax put over them to make them both resistant to bugs and also have, again, that, that attractive appearance that is prioritized. I will be washing bowls at some point. Well, we're going to use this. <clears throat> yeah, well, so, so something that I think is noteworthy and interesting is that uh, a lot of times if you get the smaller fruits or vegetables, they tend to be tastier. Okay, let's go with be about a cup and a half-ish of flour. We're putting flour in here. Uh, we'll put some salt in. Don't bake like me. Not if you're at, like, if, if I were trying to, like, make a birthday cake for someone else, I wouldn't do this. Although, my very first, um, uh, found cake, which is what I call when I just, like, make a cake without a recipe, usually in someone else's kitchen, was because I didn't have a chance to make a cake in advance of somebody's birthday. So when I got to her kitchen, I baked with what I found there, um, which I wasn't sure if it was going to be a cake or a quick bread. It turned out to be a quick bread. She liked strawberries. It was fun. Flower uh, mod of ours. Oh man! Measuring spoons. Ah. Baked tomatoes are sold on ripe. I really like tomatoes, but my favorite tomatoes are, of course, ones that are grown from a garden or that you get from a farmer's market. I really like bagels. As a half-Jewish person, I grew up with bagels in the family, but I don't like fish, so I don't like lox, which is smoked salmon to those of you who don't know it by the name lox. Um, so what I would do when the rest of my family would put their nice fancy lox on, I would have a really nice high-quality tomato that I would slice. A little bit of salt, a little bit of mayo. Put that on a bagel, delicious sandwich. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, thank you, Vanelli. I had these, um, a local artisan, um, mother-daughter team made them, made a pair for me and a pair for my mom that I sent my mom last year because we were distant and I was like, we could have matching earrings. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't realize, so, so what you're saying is that the, the firmer tomatoes as we know them are unripe or underripe. Do we have baking soda? Okay, oh, no worries, no worries. <clears throat> oh my gosh, Sophie's sitting on the chair being a loaf. Are you sad, Sophie? Are you being sad? Actually, I need to get my baking tables right here. Which I should probably rinse out. I got baking pans specifically for this. You notice they are smaller than usual because I wanted to make a small cake because there are only two of us. Hold on, I'm gonna mute the mic. Hold on, there's a way to do that, there's a way to do that. Sorry, I didn't realize that was going to mute the background music, too. Anyway, hi, I'm back. You missed the, the sound of me washing my cake pans. I bought cake pans that were small enough to make a six inch cake instead of the standard eight or nine inch cake. <clears throat> that is the uh, diameter of the cake pan, not the circumference or the radius. Oh, it didn't mute the music. Yes. Okay, good. 
Well, I'm gonna put some baking soda in, the most professional way of measuring. I think that's probably good. <laughs> I'm a true professional. All right, I don't have any powdered ginger, but I don't wanna, we, since we browned some butter, we don't wanna put a ton of stuff, but this is a little bit of cinnamon because cinnamon goes really well in banana cake, banana breads. So, we are going to, so normally you would add, you would alternate adding wet ingredients and dry ingredients to the creamed sugar and butter with eggs. But again, we're not doing that because I didn't. So I think what we're gonna do is add the wet stuff to the dry stuff here. All right, this is gonna be an adventure. Hold on, let's see what happens. Everything here is wrong. Oh man, churros are really good. Good luck with your exam, Miss Nabubu. I hope it goes well. Okay, hold on. Oops, you can see my laptop, but you can also see that I'm stirring this in here and making a bit of a mess. Just to make sure I don't get flour on tough stuff, I don't think that would be good. Tough stuff for anyone who's missed the story is the name of my laptop. That's how we are streaming cooking because I have a laptop that I can stream from now, which opens up a lot of possibilities. Okay, I'm just gonna dump the rest of this in here. Might have gotten a little bit of that on tough stuff. Oh, I think I can actually taste the brown butter, exciting. So this is kind of horrifying and bad, and anyone who knows anything about baking is probably like, what the heck is Lauren doing? The answer is not what I'm supposed to be doing. This is not how baking goes. <clears throat> but that has never stopped me, and it will not stop me now. Looks like stirring this with this is not a good idea. The, spa the spatula whisk. Tough stuff can handle a lot. Oh! It's okay, she's fine. She's fine. We're all fine. How are you? Well, the taste is good. The texture's a little weird. Is that like Moon's Haunted? Bananas escaping? Okay. It's gonna be really weird. I put a fair bit of leavener in. That's baking soda and baking powder for those of you who are not following along um, as to the random things I'm saying. Because I'm not aerating the butter, because I'm not because I'm not beating air into the butter and eggs, I have to make fluffiness somewhere else. <clears throat> so there's a couple of things you can use to make baked goods rise. You can use yeast. You can use uh, the structure of air whipped into eggs, or you can use uh, chemical leaveners, which is baking soda and baking powder. In this case, we're depending on that. Well, it's uh, it's actually kind of a nice texture. Look at that. It's kind of more like pancakes. You know, my mom really likes lavender, though, so I've baked things that are lavender for her. Goodness. That is a lot of light. Okay, that's better. So you wanna see the texture here? Again, it looks kinda of like oatmeal or pancakes. That's what we're doing. Um, yeah, no, I'm not a fan of lavender. I think it tastes like soap or perfume, but my mom really likes it. Irish monster crepes. Okay, you're gonna to have to explain to me what a monster crepe is. Man, this is definitely earlier than my usual stream time because we've got some friends over in the UK who have joined us. <clears throat> so how have your weekends been going, folks? Has anyone baked or created any delicious foods? <sighs> Halfway between a crepe and an American pancake? I cannot, I don't know what that would be like, so I will take your word for it. Oh, it's cold. The size of a large pan. Okay, so there's a thing that's called either a German pancake or a Dutch baby. I'm pretty sure the Dutch is bastardization of Deutsch. Um, 
that is a, a sort of souffle thing that you make that um, is really good. It's kind of a custardy souffle dish. Um, and so that's kind of what that makes me think of. Yes, a Dutch baby. I don't know why it's called a Dutch baby or a German pancake, but it is. <laughs> Does that mean you, you were resting and relaxing a lot, Nick? Okay, so what I'm doing here, and yes, I do explain what I do um, every time I cook and bake, so get used to that, is I'm buttering and flouring. Well, I'm buttering. I will then flour the pan so that it doesn't stick. Um, these are new pans, and I don't know how sticky they are. Different um, materials are different kinds of stickiness. Tough stuff's okay. She's just got a little bit of flour, but she'll be fine. She can weather it, I hope. Sorry, tough stuff. I'll do better next time, I promise. I will. This is this is this is my first cooking stream back. So it's a hot mess and it's allowed to be a hot mess. Um, we'll do we'll do better next time with more planning. Oh man, finish oven pancake. I wonder whether a finish oven pancake is similar to what I'm calling a Dutch baby or a German pancake. Um, does it have a lot of eggs? Does it does it does it rise like a souffle? and then have like kind of a, a thick custardy thing, what I would call French toast-like in texture. I love those things. <laughs> Next stream, Tough Stuff will not be immediately here. Oh, I got batter on my light. Oh, that's okay. My light is self-contained. It'll be fine. <laughs> ah, yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. <clears throat> But I need the, I need the, the in, for modding, I need to be able to mod. Tough Stuff sized apron, man. I still need to do, I want to do Tough Stuff art stream. So we can finish up the, uh, the picture of Tough Stuff that I want to turn into a sticker and put on the front of the laptop. But this is, this is why we got a laptop with Tough in her name. Uh, I'm good at things. I'm very good at things. All right, so we're trying to get a, a pretty decently thick coating of butter because again, I don't know how badly things will look. I don't know that these are in any way non-stick pans. They seem like they've been designed for even heating and longevity instead of non-stick, and those things are kind of in uh, conflict with one another. So I assume because it is those two things that it is not non-stick which I guess makes it just stick. <laughs> um, anyway, we're gonna flour them now. First I have to wash the butter off my hands. I don't know how badly you can hear the sound of the water since it's kind of on the side or behind the microphone, which I think is directional. Okay, good, excellent. Where did I put, oh I forgot I put, I put buttermilk in it. Well, that's good. That's good. I'm glad I put buttermilk in it. I'll probably be glad for that. All right, so we're gonna put some flour in here using, like, just like, flop flour in here. Okay, well, I'm glad it's not too bothersome. I'm gonna put some in here. Normally, I would take from one. So, just to show you, like, what we're doing here, we're just shaking it around to cover with flour. I'm gonna do it over here so that I'm not moving flour around on top of, oh, I should definitely have done this differently. I don't want to actually be doing the flour thing on top of my electronics. I have more, uh, more common sense than that. Maybe not a lot more common sense than that, but I do have more common sense than that. My goodness. So the end result is something like this. Um, and again, we're going to repeat the process for this little one right over here. Hopefully we made a good amount of batter for the amount of cake pan space that we have. Oh, okay. Well, that sounds delicious. I like those. And it seems like a very good um, Christmas or special holiday morning tradition. My family for Christmas, because we are, we're a half Jewish family, we would celebrate Christmas, but we would have fried matzah or matzah brai. All done. Gotta wash this down. I'll clean the rest of that later. I think the oven's probably hot now. 
<laughs> the mic is good. Well, I'm glad because this is this is not my primary streaming mic, but I'm not bringing my primary streaming mic out here. Okay, so we're gonna put this the batter in the cake pans. Oh wow. Okay. Hold on. I'm gonna stir it up a little bit better because I can see that the dry ingredients didn't get fully incorporated. Um, so an advantage of me stirring this by hand instead of with a mixer, and even when I do make a cake with a mixer, I do the final stirring by hand, and that's because if you use the mixer for every step in the process, you run the risk of making the, uh, like toughening it by, by overworking the flour overworking the gluten in the flour specifically, um, which will give you a tougher cake. And while you want tough stuff on your laptop, you don't necessarily want tough cake. Oh man. Oh, it tastes good though. You can really taste the brown butter. So do have a, a lighter and more delicate crumb, which is to say the texture. Maybe I put a little too much salt, but we'll see. Um, I like to finish my cakes stirring in the dry ingredients by hand to avoid overactivating the gluten and having a tough or crumbly cake. Do you feel educated yet? If not, that's okay. I'm just kind of rambling. I do, I do sometimes cook more uh, intentionally <laughs> and have more of an educational component, but oh good. Hopefully it will be. How are you doing, KG Dewdrop? <clears throat> I'm gonna pick the bowl because okay. mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this is really good do you like eating raw batter do you like eating raw batter oh, yeah do you want to try some you don't have to I can bring it over to you do you want a spoon or do you want a finger You can see she gives me a thumb up. Thumbs up. The thumb is up. We had to go give the the roommate official tasting privileges. Oh, that's right. Yorkshire puddings and popovers and things. Yeah. I think it's really interesting how. Hold on. I think it's really interesting how different regions will wind up having sort of similar foods, but in different ways. Sometimes like in the case of <coughs> a Yorkshire pudding, which is savory, versus these other things which are sweeter. Okay. Do you see? the cake. Are you excited for the cake? Shall we put the cake in the oven? Look at your oven. Okay, hold on. I have to draw your attention to the oven. So in most kitchens that I've encountered in the US and in Canada, the oven is like at the same level. Like I would normally expect the oven here underneath the stove. Not so here. Our oven is up high very exciting and different and weird and it's quite an old oven but I like it. It heats up very fast because it's a little smaller and I imagine since it still works this many years later that it is built like a tank. Let's set a timer. Um, okay Google? Okay Google? <sighs> set a timer for 20 minutes and call it cake. Let's try this again. Okay, Google. I'm gonna set a timer. Oh, does it have a timer? <laughs> oh, no, I can set it. I can set a timer. No? Oh, oh, oh wow, even better than timer. Okay, hold on, let me set the timer. 
Okay, I'm gonna have to show this. Wow! When was this from? Before I moved in. I'm so grumpy. I wish it was that color. Wow, that's amazing. You can kind of see it if you like look at some of the corners and stuff. Yeah, oh yeah. I guess they, they wanted it to not clash with things. Okay, so apparently before my roommate moved in, this was the color, this is what the oven looks like. Do you see, do you see it? Isn't that amazing? All right, timer, mm, yes, 20 minutes. Not two minutes, 20 minutes. Go, label, cake, okay. <clears throat> it will almost certainly not be done, but we'll, we're gonna we're gonna check it then. Yeah. So this this is this is how old our oven is. <coughs> so yes, it's very sixties. That is amazing. Thank you for sharing that. I'll put it back. I'm gonna drink some water because I think I'll be coughing less if I actually hydrate. Let this be a reminder to all of you: drink water. Aha! Cups. Now I have lived in a place that had a very, very old oven before, um, but it was very poorly maintained, whereas this one's nice. Oops, sorry. I left the, well, I need to clean this out real quick, but I'll do that. Sorry. Turkish Pope, first of all, that is an amazing name. Well done. Also, thank you for following. <clears throat> Hi, Ava, or is it Eva? That name can be pronounced either way. E Eva, way, Eva, way. Sorry, anyway. <clears throat> oh, I see, okay. Well, hello. Nice to meet you. We heard a little bit about you. All right, so we have a couple of There are a couple of things we can do from here, depending on how we want to do this. Um, <clears throat> hmm. I'm trying to think through. I have to strategize what we're going to do next. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of electric versus gas, but it is hard to find. It's hard to find gas ranges. So I'm happy, like, if you see how much space it has, it seems like it's also really responsive, it heats up well and quickly, so. I have a phobia of hot things, which does factor into the oven. I've also burned myself on the oven before, which is not so good. <clears throat> Would not recommend. So do be cautious. I am not a super cautious baker, as you can probably tell, um, but don't be like me. Be more cautious than I am. Be more intentional than I am. So, so here's here's what we're thinking about. <clears throat> so I don't have a mixer with me right now, which will make it a bit more complicated to make traditional icing. But I really wanted to do peanut butter. So what I could do is I could make a peanut butter chocolate ganache and put that around here. Um, or I could do what I'd originally intended and make a buttercream. All right, that's fine. Understood. Um, but yeah, so since, since, since my mixer is currently out of commission, um, I can try to mix the icing by hand, um, or I can make a ganache, or I can try something else which I, I don't know what it would be like. We could, we'll find out. What do you think? I just feel like coating the entire cake in ganache might be too much, like the chocolate might overpower the flavor. So I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with that. Razo, thank you. 
<clears throat> I appreciate that. Also, have I been saying it right all along? Is it Rezo like red or resurrection? Or is it like Rezo the red priest? In which case you've got <clears throat> the letters R-E in two different places. But, oh yes, okay. Well, I mean, what else am I gonna do, Stolen Light? Stand around and talk to all of you. <clears throat> so. Oh. Um. But our whisk is not a hard whisk, which might make it harder to do that. So I might have to use a fork. I don't know. Incident, thank you. I think this is gonna taste good. I have literally no idea how it's gonna turn out. <clears throat> but I think it's gonna taste good. And that's exciting. Done it with a fork still in light? Okay, well we're gonna do that then. <clears throat> Hold on. <clears throat> Is the music still playing or did it end? Okay, the music looks like the music is still going. That's good. Hold on, sorry. Dum da dum da dum da dum da dum. Dum da dum da dum da dum da dum. <laughs> no, this isn't the mixer. This is this is the sink actually. But if you can't tell that it's the sink, then that means it's not too bad. I've also turned the microphone away. Okay. Excellent. We're over here. Dry this by hand over here. So next time we do this, I will set everything up properly in advance and plan everything properly in advance. We'll have a nice pretty background and that is less than five years old or four years old. <laughs> Brian will be sure to share photos of the cake so you will have a chance to see them, whether it turns out or not. But have a good sleep, and I will see you later. <clears throat> so for our European viewers, despite living in Canada, I'm American. Therefore, peanut butter is a staple, a necessity for me. But I have to get the imported stuff, because Canadian paint peanut butter tastes like lies and heartbreak. And by that I mean it doesn't taste like I want peanut butter to taste. And that makes me really sad because peanut butter is like my ultimate comfort food. But fortunately, I don't have to ask my mom to send me care packages because Jif gets imported. <clears throat> Hold on. This is a brand new thing that I got specifically for this. Because I usually use crunchy peanut butter as my preference. But you can't really make an icing with crunchy, so... Creamy. Look at that. Look at that goodness. Who here doesn't like peanut butter? Do any of you not like peanut butter? I'll forgive you if you don't like peanut butter. But it might be a little sad. Yeah, well, I feel like the Canadians are used to me complaining about their peanut butter. Yeah, I know for some reason people really hate crunchy peanut butter. But I like it. I like the texture that it gives. <clears throat> peanut butter is amazing. Do you have an allergy to it, Jester? Because that is a completely understandable reason to not be a fan. <clears throat> Did you know that apparently you don't need icing sugar? You can use brown sugar in an icing. I thought that was really interesting. I love peanut butter. I love it so much. It's so good. Oh my god, allergic to, okay, so there are some foods that like allergies, you can eat them and, and it's okay, even if you're allergic, you'll like have like a bit of a stomach ache, but peanut allergy is like the allergy you don't want to mess with. Nutella is tasty, but it, 
Nutella tastes like a dessert. Peanut butter isn't any meal food. Like, breakfast, if you want to, sure, I'm not going to tell you no. <clears throat> Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Oh, man. Look at that good stuff. Look at that. Yummy. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I'm just going to, like, eat some of this. Just had to make sure that wasn't going to be secretly secretly Canadian peanut butter, but it's not. It tastes real. See, cookie butter is also specifically dessert, but peanut butter, I can just eat peanut butter from the, from the jar with a spoon. You can put peanut butter on an apple, like just dip apple slices in peanut butter. <clears throat> or like, you can dip celery in peanut butter. You can just like do anything with it and it's delicious. So we're just gonna kind of mush this up. I don't know if this is enough butter. I guess it probably will be. And the peanut butter will fill it out some too. <laughs> Yamavai, thanks for joining. Yeah, I'm sorry this isn't the best time for the Europeans, but I'm glad that you were all able to join um, when you did. And uh, I will be sure to share the final results of this in our Discord and on Twitter. <coughs> All right, we're gonna do brown sugar because apparently, apparently brown sugar works just fine for icings. It makes them softer. And this is already going to be a soft icing because it's made by hand. But brown sugar complements the flavor of peanut butter very, very well. And we have a lot of brown sugar in the cake as well. Should we try to caramelize a banana as well? Oh, a total Melvin three. Hello, thank you. I'm happy to be in Canada. So far, Canada has treated me quite well. <clears throat> okay, Stolen Light is voting yes in favor of... <clears throat> in favor of caramelizing the banana. Dead Turkish Pipe the Pope is agreeing. <clears throat> I wonder if peanut butter tasted sweeter when you were younger because, <clears throat> hold on, I'm going to do this again. I wonder if it has actually changed or if it's just your perception. I wouldn't be surprised if as culture, depending on where you live, as like cultural tastes change, sometimes like, you know, the flavors of things will morph. So, so you don't keep even white sugar around, but you do keep brown sugar around. Interesting. Interesting. Because I got icing sugar for this in case I wanted it. And I might come by and bring some just to kind of stiffen up this icing a little bit. Um, but we're not in a real hurry because it'll probably take our cake. And like, I mean, again, these are small cakes. So they will take less time to cook than a large cake would. But I think 20 minutes won't be quite enough time. And then the cake will have to cool. <clears throat> but yes, this is going to be a very, like I, like I mentioned at the start of the stream, this is going to be a very extra cake. Um, because it's my birthday and I like to bake, so why not go all out? So right now I'm washing the pot that I used to make the cake itself, um, and I'm going to caramelize some banana in it. And I've got cream even, so I could, hmm, well we'll see. That's right, it's still in light. It's my birthday and I will indeed bake if I want to, bake if I want to, bake if I want to. <clears throat> but yeah, I made a I made a carrot cake um, and wanted to make a cream cheese icing and realized I didn't have any any um, icing sugar, so I looked up alternatives. And that's where I saw that you can use brown sugar. And it was delicious, but it looked like it was peanut buttery. Um, and it wasn't peanut buttery, so then I was like, man, I should make a peanut butter icing. It's gonna be a really thin one. Polarized gamer, I will take that for a second. Hold on. <clears throat> Are we gonna caramelize the banana properly? What do you think, folks? Are we gonna follow best practices for baking? I'll let you think about what you're asking. Not that any of you asked, I asked. But then I'm also laughing at that. Well, yeah, thank you so much for the happy birthday. 
I feel like I sometimes kind of worry when people haven't seen one of my streams in a very long time and then they come back to see the way things are for me right now in my life dramatically different. Especially if you hadn't seen me since one of my early cooking streams, which again, four years? Chaos baking. Yes, chaos baking is actually not a bad way of putting it. We have a, a gate up to keep the animals out of the kitchen right now. So I have to step over it and hopefully not knock it over. All right, so we're gonna try to caramelize the sugar a little bit badly. I want it to get started kind of caramelizing itself. I might then put some butter into it <clears throat> and then put the bananas into it. Is that how you're supposed to do it? No, but I'm gonna do it. Um, actually, uh, you... So the thing is, like, you could make condensed milk into dolce de leche, but it wouldn't, it would have the dolce de leche texture, <clears throat> which is fine for kind of glazing a cake, but it, I think, will continue to be sticky, so, um, I don't know. Depends on what you're going for. Sab? I know somebody who goes by that name, but I don't think that she would talk like that. So I'm a little bit confused. Let's see. All right, peanut buttery. <clears throat> yeah, well, I mean, you could, <clears throat> if you softened butter and whipped butter and then whipped some dolce de leche into it, Ah, okay, we've got an impersonator, great. <clears throat> that is very sad, and I'm sorry to hear that because Sab is actually a really sweet person. But I don't really have patience for somebody who is going to <clears throat> impersonate a person who I like and respect. I don't think that's very nice. Oh, well thank you, Polarized Gamer. What, what inspired you to unlearn here? And I'm sorry if I've spoken to you before and had this conversation before. My memory, especially in recent years, has not been terribly great, <clears throat> unfortunately. I'm about to know there's several of us in here trying to find solutions to uh, baking questions. I love peanut butter. <clears throat> Yeah, well, I mean, hey, at least it's not, at least it's not bagged milk. If I had bagged milk, just think of how the Americans' brains would be exploding. Actually, no, I think everyone would be excited. I'm sorry I don't have bagged milk right now. I'm sorry to let you down. stuff too. Sorry, tough stuff. This is why the rest of the electronics are all safely away from the food. Wait, um, does Quebec? I thought it was strictly an Ontario thing to have bagged milk, but sh shows, uh, shows what I know. Well, Polarized Gamer, welcome. And I'm glad that you're joining and you're welcome to hang out or, um, or lurk however much you want. <clears throat> Maybe I should just get the butter out here. You, you cut a corn, so you have like a pitcher, they, they make a pitcher that's specifically for milk bags. Then you snip this corner and then you also snip this corner a little bit less and then you pour. It's a, yeah, prior to here, I was living in a place where the person drank a lot of milk. So we got, we got bagged milk. But uh, <clears throat> if I'm the only person, I don't drink enough milk for bagged milk. For those of you who don't know, you can get milk in bags and it comes in a set of three bags. Um, so it is more milk than getting just a, I guess it's probably not a gallon. What is it, a liter, two liters? I guess it's probably two liters. Is it a two liter bag, a two liter, huh? Liter. liter? Okay, sorry. 
Yeah, no, you don't close it up. So you just have sitting, sitting in your fridge, you have a pitcher with an open bag of milk and it's like a rectangular milk bag in a pitcher that's shaped to hold a rectangular thing and these little holes and they just like sit open in your fridge. So if your fridge is not a very tasty fridge, then you have uh, the risk of your milk tasting like your fridge. You can? Oh, I've never, I've never seen the clippies. Interesting. <clears throat> Cistern, hello. Cake, it's cake time. Let's check on our cake, shall we? This is a good time to get your oven mitts. Don't burn your hands. <clears throat> okay, well I'm glad to know that, that other people didn't know about this place. Okay, so if you look at this, you can see it has actually poofed up, but it's still really runny. But it's beginning to take on a cakier shape on the sides. I should definitely have smoothed this one out because it's not liquidy enough to have kind of smoothed that on its own in the pan, which means that it's going to be very domed. So I'm going to say we actually probably should put it in for another 12 minutes, would be my guess. So we're going to set the timer. No, no. Reset, delete, timer, 12 minutes. Label, cake. That way I don't forget. Even though I probably won't forget what it is. That way I definitely don't. Oh, thank you. I'm glad that you think it looks good. Yelling? Oh, Cistern always yells with enthusiasm. Cistern, he, him, or, or, or other pronouns? I'm sorry, I realize I don't know that I asked that before. I'm talking so much that I'm beginning to run the risk of losing my voice. <clears throat> oh, I should turn this temperature down. Put some butter in there. Butter, 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 butter. It's delicious. It's delicious. He, him. All right, sister. So when sister joins us, he tends to shout his enthusiasm. We have to shout our enthusiasm back. Oh, I mean, if you prefer they, we can do that too. Just say the word. All right. This is experimenting. Be careful when you experiment with sugar, by the way. I'm doing really low key sugar stuff, so it should be fine. But just in general, proceed with caution and don't do what I'm doing. <clears throat> oh no, we're listening to um, not, not, not sweeter than music, although I do love sweeter than music, so that is a likely possibility. No, we are listening to Chrono Cross. <clears throat> oh, we're gonna be beating Sweeter than this Tuesday, but I need to replay through a level, um, well, a section because I accidentally let someone die in the final army battle of the game. <laughs> That's okay, Melvin. They're both very good soundtracks. Okay, so we're gonna put this down some. So Chrono Cross is not a game that I'm particularly excited about myself, but the soundtrack is incredible. It's one of my favorite soundtracks. Especially Time Scar, the opening theme, which as a flute player, perhaps it's unsurprising that I love it. If I hear somebody start playing it, um, I have to like pull out my flute and play along. Like I'm just, I'm, I'm obligated to, I have no choice in the matter. All right, Lauren, just let the sugar do its thing. Just let the sugar do its thing. Let her do that. <clears throat> Those are we not let the sugar do its thing? Oh, that's right, it was Morgan, wasn't it? I didn't even remember exactly who it was. It was. All right, let the sugar do its thing, Lauren. So we got into is 
I think possibly the or close to the best game story. It certainly was, in my opinion, the best game story that had come out ever when it came out and retained that title for a long time. I think it's only recent games where they've given it a run for its money. Suikoden is a JRPG. So it's a JRPG that came out for the original PlayStation. Um, it predated Final Fantasy VII, if that gives you any idea. It came out after Beyond the Beyond, which I think was the first JRPG in the PlayStation era, but before Final Fantasy VII. <clears throat> it has <clears throat> very, very, very serious stories, which is why I like this so much, because surprise, 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 I like melodrama and tragedy. If you've ever watched me stream anything, it probably comes as no surprise. <clears throat> We're going to keep trying to make more icing. I don't think that this is going to be quite enough to cover the cake, even a small cake. I don't have quite as much butter as I would like, so I'm just going to add more peanut butter instead. I think we'll be okay. I'm making a banana cake with peanut butter icing, caramelized bananas, and a ganache topping. It's currently the plan. We will see if that continues to be what we're doing <clears throat> as the cake finishes and caramelized bananas do or don't caramelize hmm. well it smells like I'm browning this so but we'll see what happens <clears throat> a ganache is spelled g-a-n-a-c-h-e You've had ganache before, most likely, unless you can't have chocolate. <clears throat> but it is um, basically ch melted chocolate and cream. So truffles. All right, there we go. Well, I'm just gonna let this do its thing. It smells like the, <laughs> this got a little bit of brown butteriness to it too. I'm just gonna cook this down. Is one banana going to be enough to fill it? Pro probably, probably. It's chocolate and cream, so absolutely delicious. This looks a lot like what went into the cake batter itself. <coughs> All right, so we're going to get back to making our icing. I'm going to put some more icing sugar in it because, again, I'm, I've switched over from brown sugar to icing sugar because I want some of the... Uh, the fluffiness and the brown sugar is not going to, it'll give me softness but not fluffiness. And softness is not going to be an issue with this much peanut butter in the icing. So we're just going to let this cook, it's cooking away while I stir our icing. I will be so impressed and surprised if this turns out because, well, you can see how much planning and measuring we're doing. That's okay, right? We're taking risks, creating food that may or may not turn out okay. All right, so the uh, the icing here suddenly got a lot stiffer, which kind of makes me wonder. There we go. Okay, I got it more incorporated. And no, sister, you're not a fool. I'm trying really hard, and I'll just. When I do this next time, Tough Stuff will be in a safer location. But I really wanted to do this before it wasn't my birthday weekend anymore. And before it got too much later. Oh man, that actually tastes really good, that peanut butter icing. I might need, actually, a little bit more sugar. But it's very peanut buttery without being heavy, which is good. <clears throat> what we want. We wanted a strong peanut butter flavor. I feel like peanut butter, banana, and chocolate are three flavors that go very well together. Thank you, Dead Turkish Pope. 
When I was in high school, my friends and I used to go to a local arcade and uh, we would play DDR and then we would go get uh, smoothies or shakes at a little place in the mall next to the, next to the arcade. And I would get, <clears throat> I would ask them to combine chocolate, peanut butter, and banana. And they would look at me like I was crazy, but then they would do it. Hi, Cinevox. That's right, sister. And it is, it is technically, uh, technically uh, like the weekend of my birthday. My birthday was on Friday, but I wasn't able to stream them. So I'm streaming now. Now we're at risk of it becoming too much like sugar. I probably should have quit while I was ahead. <clears throat> well, thank you. Just gonna keep cooking this. Cookie, 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 cookie. <clears throat> so what I might do is once I've got the cakes cooled enough probably put them in the freezer to help them cool faster but I will I will have like the cake <clears throat> and I will pipe with a plastic bag maybe an edge around an icing and then I will put the caramelized um, bananas there so that the uh, there's basically a god what's that called what's it called when you like put like an edge around a thing <sighs> there's a word and I can't think of what it is but that we'll put that up and, uh, and that'll keep this banana stuff from spilling out of it. Outline, collar, I don't remember. I don't remember. Words are hard. Wayne Scotting, oh my god, so Nick Buntline is here being very, very uh, precise and cool with word choices. No, I can't think of what it is, so we're just gonna go with outline. <clears throat> Outline is probably closest. I mean, it's basically like putting a wall up around the edge so that the gooey stuff that you put there stays put. <clears throat> now we're gonna have to wait a fair bit for things to cool down. Like a wall, a perimeter wall, yes. Edging, I don't know. <clears throat> hmm. Is this done enough? I don't know. Does it need more sugar? Maybe. Maybe it does. Because so the ganache is not going to be very sweetened and that's going to be the less sweet part to counterbalance the amount of sweetness and the rest of it. I'm wondering if I want to put a little peanut butter in the ganache just a little bit to kind of tie the flavors together. Border! Border! I think border is the word I was looking for. <laughs> Words. Yeah, isn't the backsplash pretty? I think the whole kitchen, honestly, I really like it. It's this bright, sunny yellow. We've got this like cool mosaic backsplash. <clears throat> oh, I see Moon, thank you. Yay, we've got a whole bunch of lurkers. Well, at least we've got some lurkers who've come out to say hello. I really appreciate it. I always, I always appreciate when lurkers um, feel inspired to de lurk because I know that there's reasons why people prefer to lurk. <clears throat> so I feel like there's a certain degree of, of trust involved or something being special when you choose to de lurk. And I want to make sure that I acknowledge if you want to go right back to lurking, that's totally fine with me. But I appreciate that you popped up and said hello. <clears throat> and yes, Nick, I think border was what I was looking for. <coughs> like I said, I think it was a very essential and ordinary word that I was having a trouble, having a, having a trouble with, having a trouble with words. Um, so for the ganache, I'm just going to be using, um, <clears throat> President's Choice Chocolate Chips. So from Loblaws. So this is actually, so it's, it's not a, it's not a pale yellow. It's a bright yellow. <clears throat> All right, let's see how we do. Oh, oh, I think we might be done. Hopefully not overdone. But I think we are done. Before I turn the oven off, let's see. Hmm, it's close. It's close. It might not be quite there. Look at that. So as you can see, there's not um, there's not wobbling going on. 
Oh, it smells good. It smells like it might have a little too much flour. It almost smells like there's honey in there. Yeah, I think it's done. <clears throat> I am making a brown butter banana cake with peanut butter icing, caramelized banana filling, and a possibly peanut butter ganache. Or else just ganache ganache. Has this caramelized? I think it might have. <clears throat> we'll see what it cools, what it's like. <coughs> All right, so here's our icing. Oh, that is stiff. Maybe I'll add a little bit more brown sugar just to try to soften it up a little bit. Maybe I'll even add a little bit of cream to it, which might also soften it up a little bit and also... Does my kitchen use lead saving bulbs? I think it does. Toothpicks are in the spice cupboard. <laughs> oh, they are! Amazing! <clears throat> my roommate is here to tell me where things are because she organized the kitchen. And therefore knows where the kitchen organizing is. <clears throat> A little bit wet. So close. I just, I really don't want to burn it, you know? <clears throat> I actually feel like the banana flavor might be kind of subtle in these once it's actually cooked. Through, which is fine and of course we'll see there'll be a difference between the, the the taste of it when it's hot and then the taste of it when it cools so we're gonna put it in for just a little bit longer I will probably regret this just so you know <clears throat> all right two minutes two minutes potentially regrettable two minutes thank you I like I like these <clears throat> Alright, delete, two Should we add a little cream to this? We are listening to Crisis Corn. Crisis. Chrono Cross. <clears throat> Not to be confused. Oh, I already had cream. Let's see if it's still good. Well, that's okay. taken on the flavor of things around it. Let's find out. Excuse me here, folks. <clears throat> yeah, I've been talking about Crisis Core so much that apparently I can't say Chrono Cross without saying Crisis Core. No, that's fine. We're going to add a little bit, <clears throat> a little bit of cream to this. oven here sings. I don't know if you can hear, but sometimes it makes a little, a little noise there. <clears throat> hmm? Alright, let me put a little bit more of the cream in it, actually. I think this is going to be good. <clears throat> It'll dilute the peanut butter flavor a little bit, but I think that's okay. <clears throat> I mean, we'll see what happens if, if the peanut butter flavor and the icing is diluted and the banana flavor in the cake is diluted, maybe that just means that there'll be a more harmonious experience <clears throat> with the flavors in the cake. Yep. <laughs> the gate fell. It fell by itself. I didn't do it. I'm all the way on the other side of the kitchen. Oh, that's smooth. Smooth is this right up. It was beginning to get a little bit stiff and now it's smoothing it. Kitchen poltergeist. <clears throat> but we are here to make cake, whether you like it or not. Okay, yeah, this looks like it's gonna be done. I'm here by decreeing these done, and if they're not done, then they're done. <clears throat> that feels that feels like incontestable proof, like logic, right? Yep. 
You can't argue with that. Nobody can argue with that. Even you, Poltergeist. You can't argue with that. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna start. So an important thing to do when you cook or bake is to clean up as you go. Mm. That's pretty good. I think it needs more of this. <clears throat> do they eat ghost cake? I mean, so in Mother 3, the ghosts eat and drink. It goes right through them. <clears throat> but that doesn't seem to stop them. Alright, so I'm... <clears throat> I'm incorporating the cream into my icing here. And so it, it starts off just being like, why did you dump this liquid into this thing? <clears throat> but if I keep stirring it, it will eventually be incorporated and then we'll have this nice <clears throat> shiny fluffy texture. Very lovely. See? Mm. <laughs> That's pretty good and it has a good it has a good peanut butter flavor, but it's not like you just put peanut butter on the cake. Thank you, sister. And yeah. <clears throat> and here is here is our um, caramelized banana. I don't know how like I don't know that it's actually caramelized, but it is frozen banana cooked with sugar and butter for a while until it kind of lost its texture. Because it used to have bits and now it's just kind of gone completely smoosh. These are the official technical terms. Because I am an official technical baker. I'm not. I'm not. Can, can, you, can you tell? I am not a professional. <laughs> Don't try to recreate this at home. I'm going to put these. These are the reject bananas. Because our cake is too little to need all of them. Be nice, those bananas. How dare you reject them? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm giving them a second chance. We're gonna go back in the freezer. Oh, damn it! I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, and I lost my family-friendly rating because I swore on stream. Oh no! Oh, Band forever. Band forever. can't see. Okay, well, I'm wearing pajama pants because it's Sunday. No, they made it to the freezer, but the gate, the gate and I had a, an altercation. Yeah, being able to wear pajama pants to work is great. Don't touch the cake, Lauren. You just took it out of the oven. Put things away instead of touching the cake that you just took out of the oven. <clears throat> Don't burn your fingers. That's exactly what I should be trying. <clears throat> All right. Sugar. Am I going to need the sugar for anything else? I mean, I might want to put it in the ganache. Maybe I'll leave that alone. But I don't need the flour. That doesn't go in ganache. Don't put flour in it. If you just believe that you need flour in your ganache, it could happen. I wouldn't recommend it, but I mean, I'm not really the ultimate authority on what is allowed in the ganache. The ganache authority, the ganache authority police are gonna come get me. Hmm. Hey, b Sim, nice to see you. <clears throat> yes, and so I still, again, have my no-name unsalted butter. So for those of you who are not familiar with Canadian brands, um, no-name is a brand that's not a brand, but it is a brand. 
and this like bright yellow that's their thing so they have bright yellow and then this like really like plain font um, and so they'll offer like a ton of things they're cheaper but really good quality it's not quite so it's not quite like the store brand but it's also not not the store brand you know it's I've been trying to figure out exactly exactly how to define it so if, if somebody who's a real Canadian wants to weigh in and update it the stolen light is still here so I uh, no, it's, it's not, it, like, it's, it's store brand, but good. Like, okay, for those of you in Texas, you know how H-E-B has actually genuinely good stuff, even with the store brand? Think about it like that. If you're not from Texas or Canada, I can't help you. <clears throat> anyway, we're weighing in on, on how you define what no name brand is. If it's a brand or not a brand. It, but it's but it's a good star brand. Like the quality of it despite the lack of decoration. It does seem like it's it's actually higher quality than you would expect. Really? blowing my mind here. There's a there's a grocery store in Texas that's my favorite grocery store and their store brand is really really good. Um, but it's like noteworthy that their store brand is so good. <laughs> great value, that's true. Great value on the other hand. Okay, no, that's good to know because like I haven't been avoiding them, but I've also kind of been like, gee, have I lucked out that the that the ingredients or the items that I've gotten that are store brand have been have been good? Don't tell anyone, but I just touched the, the hot cake pans that I took out of the oven. <laughs> Where is oh 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 right <clears throat> cooling rack. Cooling rack. <clears throat> I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. That would be stupid. Let's not be stupid, Lauren. Do it. I didn't do it. I got the mitts. I didn't touch it. Why? <laughs> this time I didn't touch it when I'm actually moving it. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna let it cool a little bit. And then I'm gonna be super impatient. I'm gonna put it in the freezer. <clears throat> and then we're gonna hang out while we wait for it to cool. Because we can't make the ganache in advance because you want your ganache to still be warm enough. Well, you want it to be warm enough to, pull, to pour, but not so warm that it melts the icing. <clears throat> This tuna box, that's a funny way of putting it. Yeah, so I've, I've been a little bit confused about Canadian grocery stores because it's like there's different tiers in a single family. And that's not how I'm used to things being. Like HEB and um, Central Market are the same company. HEB is like the normal version and, and Central Market is the expensive foodie version. So you'll get Central Market brands. I'm not mix, I'm not mixing up my grocery stores, am I? Please forgive me, Texans, if I am. <clears throat> but so you get like, occasionally you'll get the foodie brands at the normal store. And then you have like a couple of tiers of store brand versions at the normal store too. And they're really good if you go specifically to HEB. But like Kroger's and Tom Thumb and Albertsons and whatever other ones there are, um, 
like you can kind of tier that like rank them like like Tom Thumb is gonna be more expensive um, and fancier than like Kroger or Albertsons. Sal, I just call it the H E B the I just call it H E B. Uh, so so he be G B I'm not I'm not used to, but if you were to say H E B G B, I would probably get what you were where you were going with that. Yeah, so I have I got President's Choice chocolate chips because they're really good, which was surprising, but I, I'm gonna take it if it's cheap and good, like way to go. Um But there aren't <sighs> Just, this is not the way grocery stores work in the U.S. <laughs> There's not like a family with different tiers. Um, because Freshco and Sobeys are the same brand too, or the same company, right? And like they've got one other. <clears throat> oh, that's right, I forgot Trader Joe's and Aldi's. It was Aldi's and then the Aldi brothers had a fight and so one of them made Trader Joe's, apparently. And frozen pizza. I actually had frozen pizza um, for the first time in a long time <laughs> over the Christmas break. So I wasn't in a position to do a lot of cooking. <clears throat> yes, um, H-E-B, the, uh, the Texas grocery store that I keep talking about, the, uh, the B stands for butt because the guy who founded it, his last name was Butt. So, oh, excellent, Sirius Inc. What kind of scones did you make this time? You have made some delicious berry scones in the past. I'm being so impatient about my cakes. I'm being so impatient about my cakes. Calm down, Lauren. You gotta wait for other things to cool down anyway. Oh, and I can't... Oh, I'm gonna have to make ganache. I won't be able to cheat on my ganache, but cheat with my ganache. I usually microwave ganache, which is cheating, because then you don't have to worry about the chocolate seasoning. <clears throat> you know, H-E-B is great. I love H-E-B and I miss it, but apparently I don't need to miss it, because apparently I can just... Although, like, I can't get the mixed la tortillas here, unfortunately. I miss those. No, it, it rose! It's it's risen. The cake is risen. It's just, it's just hot. I can't ice it. Drink your water. Oh, you too might lose your voice. <clears throat> yeah, our cakes are, hold on, I'm being smart. I'm putting on the oven mitt. I'm gonna show you the cake. Do you wanna see the cake? <clears throat> Let's do this. Let's bring the cakes over. Cake, cake, cake. So it's got a really interesting texture going on. I don't know if you can see it all, but it, it has, because it has these like bits of banana in it instead of it being completely mushed and, and just, because I made it weird, it looks weird. But weird doesn't mean bad. Weird can mean very good. I mean, who among us is not weird? And yet I think we can say we are good. Or at least generally good. I'm gonna put things away. Okay. You put your baking stuff here at the end, right? It does kind of look like an oatmeal cookie in texture. And as I was stirring it up, like the texture of it felt like oatmeal, which is really interesting. Like it's a very, it's a very strange thing. I don't know if it's gonna be any good. I don't know if any of this is gonna be any good, but I live dangerously. So. I think I can make my ganache without the chocolate seasoning. What do you think? Oh, maybe not this pan. This pan does not seem to have the right texture. Well, that's all right. I will, oops, drop my phone on the floor. <sighs> yep, that's me. Drop your phone on the floor, Lauren. That's what they call me. 
<clears throat> I'm gonna move the caramelized bananas to a different dish so that they cool faster. Also, so that then I can free up this pot to make a nosh. All right, caramelized bananas. You're not quite the color I would want from caramelized. That's okay. Let's see, how is it? Is it tasty? Let's find out. Hmm. Mm. Yeah. It is really unappetizing looking. <clears throat> it's just banana mush. Look at that mush. I think we're gonna need the ganache because the colors of the rest of this, <clears throat> I don't know. I'm gonna rinse this out. Still, is our, our music is still going, okay, good. It is in fact old bananas and sugar and some butter. Oh man, Wooper, what are you gonna do? Hmm? Sorry, I realized that this might be a little bit loud. <clears throat> yeah, so one thing I will give great value credit for is that apparently the great value uh, ripoff version of Girl Scout cookies are available in Canada. So I don't think the Keebler versions are because Keebler is apparently not very common up here. And I need Girl Scout cookies, so I'm gonna have to get Walmart brand Girl Scout cookies so I can have my Thin Mints because Thin Mints are really important. <clears throat> Who here has Girl Scout cookie opinions? Surely some of you do. See, Thin Mints, yeah. Other acceptable answers are Samoas and or peanut butter patties. Samoas also known as Caramel Delights and peanut butter patties also known as Dosey Dos. <coughs> Egg with feelings, that's just such a good name. I think it's adorable. Samoas are also good, they're, they're an acceptable, acceptable choice. I will allow it. Okay, so here's our peanut butter icing. Again, look at this like soft and fluffy. I wasn't convinced I was gonna be able to make icing without a mixer, so I'm really impressed. And it still smells very strongly of peanut butter. <coughs> Oh, goodness. I need some coughing into my shoulder like a good person. You should, Wooper. You should buy them because I can't get them. Oh, my goodness. Sal, that is a really important thing to be researching. <clears throat> All right. No, well, the thing is, I would just eat them. I wouldn't make a cake out of them because it, I can just make a chocolate peppermint cake if I want a chocolate peppermint cake. If I want Thin Mints, then I want Thin Mints. Trefoils. Oh, those are the shortbread ones, aren't they? The ones that are in the shape of the Girl Scout logo, I think. Oh, man. <clears throat> So the easiest way to do this is to heat up the cream and then add cream to the chocolate chips. I've made a thin mint cake before and I actually was thinking about making a thin mint cake <clears throat> before I decided but instead I was going to make this ridiculous monstrosity. 
Okay, so you don't have Girl Scout cookies up here. You have Girl Guide cookies. And Girl Guide cookies that I haven't had the winter ones. I've been told they're basically like a thin mint wrapped around a... <clears throat> wrapped around a junior mint. So I want to try them. But the ones that I tried in the summer I thought were like bad sort of Oreos. And I didn't like them. And I really like Girl Scout cookies. So I was very sad. <laughs> very sad. <clears throat> Do we want to put any peanut butter in our ganache? Or should we just make it a plain ganache? I'm feeling like there's going to be enough peanut butter. I would just want to just be able to eat. Because the thing is, you put, a, you put uh, the Thin Mints in the freezer, and then you eat them from the freezer, and they're tastier. And they're so good. I could eat an entire sleeve of them in a sitting. Like, they're so good. <clears throat> hmm. Viscounts and penguins? Are we talking about, like, like, those sound like, like a, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, minions in a game. Like, if you're a high enough level, you can get Viscounts, but if you're not quite up to that high level, you're only able to, like, hire penguins to help you. <clears throat> oh my god, Hydrox! My dad loved Hydrox. Is that a Canadian thing? Because Hydrox, I remember, is being another brand similar to Oreos. Yeah, see, Thin Mints from the freezer. That's the way to go. I need to, I need to tell my mom to send me some Thin Mints. Somebody has to send me Thin Mints. I need Thin Mints and I also need to introduce Thin Mints because my roommate hasn't had Thin Mints, I don't think so. You have? Okay. Well, then I need them for me, but she knows. <clears throat> well, I'm going to use myself as an excuse. Hydrox came first. Hi, Rose. We're talking about very important things here. We're talking about cakes and cookies. Yes, to be fair, Hydrox, when you look at it and listen to it, it sounds weird. <clears throat> Alright, Lauren, don't mess with it. Don't mess with it. I'm gonna mess with it. I'm gonna mess with it. Watch me mess with it. Wait, Vinny, are you telling me you don't like Thin Mints? Have you told me that before? You probably have. <clears throat> Oreos are vegan, right? So what I'm doing here is I'm just running the um, the knife around the, carefully around the edge of the cake. A Girl Scout cookie care package. Well, my mom has talked about sending me care packages with things that I can't get. And I can get peanut butter here because that would have been like, if I couldn't get peanut butter that tasted right to me, like that would have actually been a crisis. <clears throat> because I really, 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 I really... I, I know that I, I like I like peanut butter, can you tell? <clears throat> Bye, Sudavox, have a good day. Rose, are you making the coconut cake? This is probably a bad idea, so I'm do it anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. cake because you see you saw how much I buttered and, and floured it it just popped right out beautiful yes sister and I moved to Canada I moved to Canada in 2019 late 2019 <clears throat> and have been living here ever since in Toronto specifically I like crunchy Jif but you can't make um you can't make Icing with crunchy Jeff. <clears throat> Here's my chocolate chips. I mean, you could, but it'd be kind of weird. You could make it, you could do that with ganache. <clears throat> oh man. Coffee crisps are delicious. So it used to be 
that my mom would get a care package from her sisters in Canada that would have coffee crisps. And then I, when I moved here, became the source of coffee crisps. But apparently, <clears throat> she can go to World Market in Texas and get coffee crisps from World Market. So she doesn't need my supplies. But I've gotten the rest of my friends down there hooked whenever I come to visit. I come with little coffee crisps. World Market is cool. All right. Well, no, but it's, so World Market is an import store. That's that's why it's called World Market. No, no, you have ketchup chips. <clears throat> Hi, Wanderer. People get really excited about ketchup chips. I'm not gonna lie, I don't like ketchup chips. <clears throat> at all. And I don't like all dressed chips either. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like the states that are like immediately in the vicinity of Canada have Tim Hortons. This is my friend who grew up in Buffalo. New Tim Hortons. But it's not ubiquitous in the US like it is here. I never had it in Texas, which is not at all close to Canada. <clears throat> Texas has more brands that are Mexican than Canadian. Hmm. Actually, I think this might be really good. It's weird, but we knew that already. So I pulled the cakes out of their things. Look at my cakes. <clears throat> Look at my cakes. I might have put too much salt in. <clears throat> so these are brown butter banana cakes. We're gonna put cream cheese icing on them. Not cream cheese, peanut butter icing. Completely different thing. With a caramelized banana filling. And then we're baking a ganache, which I'm not sure yet. If I'm gonna put peanut butter in the ganache, or if that's gonna be unnecessary or too much. <clears throat> Hold on, sorry friends. I'm gonna put the cakes in the freezer so they cool down faster. Along with our rejected bananas. I'm sorry, bananas. <clears throat> Hopefully it'll be good. Yeah, it's so like I've used absolutely zero recipes. Anyone who's been here the whole time can confirm the complete lack of recipe or planning. <laughs> Everything is just a hot mess. This is how we roll right now. So I usually cheat by um, microwaving chocolate chips, but we don't have a microwave. So I'm heating up cream to pour over the chocolate chips to turn it into a ganache because that is the more controlled way of doing it where you don't have to worry about the chocolate seizing. Seizing is when chocolate has been liquid and then suddenly it goes stiff. Um, and there's ways to get it back, but uh, it's kind of a pain. Um, so if you if you see, like if you watch any of the uh, baking shows or, or dessert shows and people are like freaking out about tempering chocolate or chocolate seasoning, chocolate is really persnickety <clears throat> to work with. Oh man, because I'm making a small six inch cake, I can fit it on a plate. What kind of plate should I put it on? Hmm. I don't use recipes much because I am kind of dumb that way. <clears throat> Do I put it on this plate? Yes, I think that that's, I think this might be just the right size. And then it'll fit beautifully in the fridge. Amazing. <clears throat> oh, Zumba, that's the guy who's like uh, Australian Willy Wonka, right? Hi, Brenneman. I'm making a birthday cake. Brenneman has actually been present in person for a cooking stream. Which might actually be the last cooking stream I've done prior to this. Hmm. 
Well, so I used to have <clears throat> a metal plate that was round and flat and perfect for um, perfect for cakes, for the for the regular sized cakes, like the eight or nine inch cakes. Um, but I haven't had that plate for a while because I've moved several times since then. And uh, what am I saying? What am I saying? Sorry, I'm like watching this milk that I'm trying to stall. Um, oh, and so since I have a smaller cake size, that means that I can use normal plates that are more fridge size friendly. Shades on the Noxy milk. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, careful, Melvin. You don't want to set things on fire. Yes, we had an Undertale cooking stream. We made uh, spaghetti and meatballs, didn't we? And butterscotch cinnamon something. And I want to say there's one other thing we made. What did we make? It's been a while. But I think I'm going to do cooking streams again. Did we actually make a butterscotch cinnamon pie? I can now make pie crust with some regularity. So I make my aunt's amazing apple pie. Do I have butter in this? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Do I want to put peanut butter in this? No, I put the peanut butter away. Oh my gosh. It's Zena, did you make a thinking knot? I need to make more emotes. Or, or hire a friend to make more emotes. It will happen at some point. Yeah, so I've made a whole lot of biscuits, American style biscuits, not to be confused with British style biscuits. Um, and so making those a lot kind of helped me get more comfortable with flakiness in butter doughs. But um, I, I actually, when I was staying with my mom last, or, Excuse me, it's now 2021. When I was staying with my mom in 2019, we actually took a cooking class on making pies for the 4th of July. Um, and then we made pie crust. I think this is hot enough. It's steaming a little bit. So we're gonna pour it over our chocolate chips and see how did I do with my measurements. Oh no, you gotta be really careful making caramel in any context, but especially with condensed milk like that, you have to be very careful because if you are doing the thing where you don't open the can, it can explode. So, it's very careful. I don't like pre-made crusts as much as I like homemade crusts, but I understand. Oh my goodness, don't take a nap while cooking. Oh no! Oh no, that's terrible. Well, Blue Gloss, we can make a butterscotch cinnamon pie. Um, for like, because I want to do, I want to do more of my, my cooking stream, like, educational series where I'm like, here's the recipe, here's the ingredients, get them in advance, now we're going to cook together. So we could do a butterscotch cinnamon pie. It's kind of an advanced thing, but we can do it. Oh, specialized pastries? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I certainly wouldn't use pre-made icings. No, it's not bad, Vinny. It's actually probably good for you that you don't have to worry about, like, being a snob like me in Wanderera. Wanderera. Sorry. <clears throat> All right, stirring, stirring, stirring. I don't think I heated up my cream quite enough because it's not, the ganache isn't quite melting as much as I wanted. It's a little bit lumpy. That's okay. Reha, okay. I should know that by now, but I didn't, so please forgive. <clears throat> oh yeah, strudels and stuff. Yeah, I've never really messed with that. It's like I've never made shoe pastry, although I would really like to. Because it's a... Uh, it's new and an interesting challenge that I have not yet undertaken. Melt! 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 
Why is it not melting? <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, vegan baking is its own special challenge. I baked for my stepsister before sometimes, so. I've done some of it, but. I just, I don't think I heated up the cream sufficiently. So I wanna heat up more cream. Did I stir it too fast? I wanna deal with no boilers. The whole point here is to avoid that. I'm sorry, Rita, that sounds frustrating. I've had a couple of friends who were allergic to wheat and nuts and a whole bunch of other things, and that's tricky. Fortunately, she could do like, oh, and she couldn't do milk products, but she could do eggs, so that was something. Do I heat up more cream? Maybe I should heat up more cream? Maybe? Hmm. What do you think? Should I heat up more cream? Thank you, Riha. This shirt is actually merch for my band, so I designed it um, years ago. Um, and you can get it on a t-shirt, but you can't really get it on tank tops unless it's a special order. But since I put in the regular orders, I also got a special order of this for myself. Well, seriously, the cakes are in the freezer to cool. The uh, icing is done. The caramelized bananas are cooling. And um, I didn't sufficiently heat my cream to make my ganache. So I'm heating up more cream to make Ganache. My favorite dessert, oh gosh, I like desserts a lot, like a lot, a lot, as you might be able to tell from this insanity that we are working on right now. Um, my favorite dessert. I don't know, like, because like I love a good vanilla ice cream. I love tiramisu, and tiramisu is a little bit too fancy me to a little bit too fancy and fussy for me to want to make it myself yeah, I could double boiler it but instead I'm just gonna heat up some more cream because I'm lazy good night Jester thank you my roommate says good night to you too making ice cream is fun I used to have an ice cream maker and I would make homemade ice cream and it was good Creme brulee, oh, I used to make creme brulee for Christmas. I actually have a creme brulee torch that I've never used. Um, what else? I mean, like, I honestly, I just really like dessert. What are some things that if I see them on the menu, I'm like, oh, I've got to have that. Hmm. Hmm. So some of the ways to make ice cream without an ice cream maker. There's a way to where you like basically pour it into a tub in the, in the freezer, and then every so often you open it, you open up the tub, you pull it out, and you scrape it with a fork to kind of aerate it a little bit. Um, and that supposedly works okay. Um, but I haven't tried it. I'm heating up this cream more, hopefully it'll go. One of my favorite desserts of all time is apple pie inspired by the way my aunt makes it so I made an apple pie for Thanksgiving so I couldn't go home for Thanksgiving because international travel is not really a thing right now so I made an apple pie of my own and ate it and it was really good um, so I, I, I now feel like I'm pretty confident in my of course I say this now but if I stream making a, a pie crust I bet it'll go badly <clears throat> but I was really happy with that and so that's that's one of my favorites and I also make apple dumplings, so basically just like peel and core an apple, wrap it in a pie crust, stuff it with butter and brown sugar and cinnamon, and bake it like that, and then serve it with like, have it have like a caramel sauce form around it, and then serve that with some whipped cream or ice cream. It's delicious. It's a favorite too. Oh man, I don't actually know that I have much experience even eating cherry pie.
just, I don't want to put the cream in too early, like I did last time. I want it to heat up enough. You know, a lot of people really like cherry pies. Apple dumpling is so interesting. <laughs> well, apple pie, if I remember correctly, is actually originally more of a German thing. Um, okay, well, this is a little bit bubbly, so well, we'll see what happens. This whole thing is an experimental monstrosity. It's amazing. Okay. <coughs> That should be sufficient. Come on, come on, come on. Good night, Edsina. Thank you for joining. But yeah, no, it's funny because the saying is as American as apple pie. But I feel like apple pie is, is more of a German thing. And I would say American is peanut butter, personally. Coffee and cherry pie seems like an interesting combination. All right, this is actually melting good. Perhaps not as much. Oh, oh, that is turned off. Yeah, I would, I would go with peanut butter as like the most American of all foods. Oh man, cobbler. So cobbler is fun because there are so many different ways for cobbler to be made. Like, do you make a cobbler with a cake on top? Do you make a cobbler with a streusel on top? Like, <clears throat> and then of course you get people arguing about cobble versus crisp versus buckle versus, there's another one, I can't think of what it is. It's like that, so. Oh man, peanut butter cookies are good too. It's okay, Malvin, lots of people don't like peanut butter. I like peanut butter enough to make up for all of the rest of them, though. <laughs> Crumble! Thank you, Riha. That's exactly what I was looking for. Well, I think most people agree that cobbler is different from crumble, buckle, or crisp. Crumble, buckle, or crisp are more interchangeable, but there's still a lot of variety. Mmm. I have a recipe that I make where you uh, you put the butter in a pan and you heat that up in the oven until it gets real hot and the butter's all melted. And I like to leave it in for a little bit longer so that it, it uh, browns a bit. And then you take it out and you dump the uh, you dump the batter in it and then you dump the fruit on top and then you put it in the oven and like the fruit winds up sinking to the bottom, the batter rises to the top. It's delicious, it's so good, it's so easy. So that's my cobbler type of preference. I haven't tried Reese's cups up here. I imagine since the standards for peanut butter are so different, like the taste of peanut butter is different, that they would taste different too. I don't know if I've made skillet pie. You have to define more specifically what you mean by skillet pie in case I know it by a different name. Yeah, no, peanut butter is one of my favorite foods. Okay, so we're gonna let this cool. It's actually a good thing. It's a lot of ganache. See how much ganache? It is uh, 300 milliliters or a cup and a third. That's too much ganache. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Um, well, so the, the flavor is different. And I was explaining this earlier in the stream and I explain this periodically whenever peanut butter comes up because I tried peanut butter shortly after moving here and was horrified because it didn't taste like peanut butter. Um, so I actually have to get um, Jif that is imported from the U.S., which fortunately is just carried at most stores here. Um, but so Canadian peanut butter tastes different and it's an absence of a flavor. And so as far as I can tell, American peanut butter tastes a bit more like molasses in it. And I think that the peanut flavor is a little stronger too. Um, so I taste Canadian peanut butter and it feels like something's missing. Um, oh, that makes sense, Riha. Yeah, no, I, I, I hate, I hate Canadian peanut butter. I also did, um, a macaroni and cheese taste test, um, with a farmer roommate where when I came back from Christmas, uh, from the holidays, um, going into 2020, I brought boxed mac and cheese and she got KD and we made them. We'll do a redo. I'll ask my mom to send a box of that too. We're gonna we're gonna have another taste test here. Um, 
<clears throat> Honestly, like, with Skippy, I mean, I think Skippy is actually the most, well, Skippy or Peter Pan might be the more, more brown sugary of the American peanut butters, but Jif is the only American peanut butter that I can find re regularly here. So I get that, and I eat it, and it makes me happy. No, well, so so American peanut butter actually has 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 stricter restrictions on the amount of peanuts that must be in it compared to Canada in order for it to be called peanut butter. So there's actually, I think, more peanuts in American peanut butter than in Canadian, like percentage-wise. So uh, I really like it. And yeah, like mac and cheese, powdered mac and cheese. I don't have it when I want cheesy macaroni and cheese. I want powdered mac and cheese, but I really, really hate KD. So I have to get, um, no Reha actually, no, that's the rule. I looked it up. Um, you can, you can say that it feels wrong in your gut, but that is factually what it is. The, uh, the standards for what is allowed as peanut butter in Canada is lower than the standards for what is allowed in the U S unless, unless it's changed in the past, like nine months since the last time I looked it up. Um, but yeah, so that's why, like, one of the things that I think is interesting here is that there's more of a frozen dessert, like, dessert instead of ice cream, um, because for whatever reason, there's a lot of stuff that can't quite, like, can't legally be sold as ice cream up here. Um, yeah, I don't like powdered mac and cheese. I'm sorry, I don't like it unless I, unless I'm wanting specifically powdered mac and cheese. Um... Oh yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not defending the U.S.'s standards or lack of regulation. I was actually really surprised to find that this is one particular instance. So I think lends some weight to my theory that that the most American food is peanut butter, and that's the one that we're more particular about. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, if I want powdered mac and cheese up here, I have to get the um, the Annie's brand because it tastes the same in both countries, so it's satisfying. Whereas, uh, KD just, no. So from what I can tell, there is a flavor that is present in KD that isn't present in American mac and cheese, just like there's a flavor that's in American peanut butter that's not present in Canadian peanut butter. And so it just doesn't taste right if you're used to it one way or the other. Yeah, no, Annie's is, is like, it's definitely more expensive, but if I, if I really am feeling homesick and I want that comfort food, that's the option I've got. Peanut, the biggest food shock in moving to Canada. I would say for things tasting different in a way that I didn't like, yes. Um, on the positive side of things, I will say that dairy products in Canada just across the board taste much, much better than their corresponding dairy products in the US. <clears throat> like uh, butter tastes better, cream tastes better, milk tastes better, and I, have enough experience as a, an enthusiastic home baker <clears throat> that I kind of feel like I would know, if that makes sense. And you can get good tasting versions of those in, <clears throat> in the U.S., but they're more expensive for us. I hear like, you know, milk products are more expensive because Canada has stricter regulations and like requires everything to be from Canadian cows for dairy. Um, <clears throat> so it is more expensive um, than the cheap stuff that you can get in the US. Even like my cheaper no-name stuff is more expensive. Um, but I feel like it's worth it for the quality improvement. Hi, Chrono. Thank you. How are you doing? I have baked the cake. I have made the ganache. I have made the icing. I have made the filling. I'm going to check the cake and see as soon as it's cool enough, we're going to assemble it. Oh, excellent! d and I've been thinking about getting back into D&D. &D. Man, I was, I was talking to a girl on OkCupid who was running or putting together a D&D &D campaign that was inspired by The Bachelor. It's like the concept is date or die. And I was just like, that's fantastic. I, I must know more. So... <laughs> I will. She seems she seems cool anyway, but I definitely reached out to her because I wanted to know more about that. And also, she seemed very funny. I mean, the sort of person who would come up with something like that seems like a good. I don't know. Uh, 
Oh man, Kerner, that sounds like fun. Okay, so this is cooling. Let's see. Hopefully it's not so much cream that it won't. No, you know, I don't, didn't put any, uh, that might be too much cream. Well, whatever. Chill, Lauren, chill, chill. It's fine, it's fine, it's okay. Observe the cakes. Do you see the cakes? <clears throat> Thanks, you KG Dewdrop. I really like them. I got them as a set to match my mommy. Okay, so these are sinking a little bit. I don't know if you can see, which means that they probably weren't completely 100% done when I took them out. That's okay. It'll be fine. It's been a while, Chrono. It's been years since I last streamed cooking years so probably since then if even then maybe no no i ddr'd i did ddr streams you would have seen my legs then but i'm totally wearing ridiculous pajama pants that totally don't go with my i'm wearing like these like faded plaid pajama pants and rainbow socks and a polka dot hoodie so you can't see my feet so i'm not going to get in trouble with twitch Ready, cake? Wait. Yeah, you can't have bare feet on, on Twitch. Unless they've changed the ruling. Language. Are there corners of the internet that you haven't been to, perhaps? I'm aware, but like that's excessive. Yeah, it's Let it's people do what they want to do. It's it's a, it's along the lines of the no the no topless or something. I don't know. Let's see. I'm so because the cake is not perfectly smooth on top, also because I'm really impatient, and I also really want to know if I cooked it all the way through, I'm leveling it. <clears throat> so we'll see. It's probably going to be running in the middle, and I'm going to be like, darn it. Oh, it's actually not. Whoa. 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 It's not running in the middle. Um, It was a little bit gooey, but... Mm. Okay, yeah. Yeah, the very center of it might be a little bit, but... By the way, if you didn't get the memo, I live with a doggy now. Mm. Mm. She is the best doggy. Okay, so you know how I commented on how I hadn't really mixed the things in together enough? If you look at this, you can see the little bit of the powdered stuff. <laughs> it's all good. <clears throat> Okay, yeah, so the very, very center of it is still kind of gooey. Well, we'll eat it fast enough. But if you see, I don't know if you can see the texture of it. Right there in the center. Hmm. Now, Mo is, a, Mo is a lady pup. She's a good girl. <clears throat> well, it's just that it's a little bit undercooked. <clears throat> the very, very center of it. But I'm not afraid of it if you're not afraid of it, so we'll be fine. Yes, she's the new roomie. And if you can hear her piping in, I don't know if you can or not, but she's also piping here. But yeah, so here is the cake. Again, you can maybe see. There's a little bit of gooeyness right there because it's just a little bit undercooked. <clears throat> but, are you ready for assembling this thing? Are we ready to make this cake happen? It's like the perfect size for cake. I'm so excited. Because like a, the thing about having a smaller like six inch cake is that we can more readily eat a cake this size and then I can make another one. All right. 
Bye, Melvin. Well, thank you so much for coming by this stream, and hopefully we'll, uh, we will see you again. All right. Let's do this. <clears throat> so normally, a person who is a fancy baker would, like, have, like, a piping bag and would pipe stuff. Yes, you can see how close this is to my to my laptop. Yes, you can see that there is a <coughs> there is icing sugar a little bit on my laptop. I'm gonna drink a little bit more water. And then I have to figure out if I'm not piping this, but I only want <coughs> a border around the edge so that I can then fill it with this goop. How am I gonna do this? <clears throat> I guess I can just, you know, no, we're gonna do this. Make it all ugly. So I actually have a leveler that we'll use for the icing overall. So what I'm gonna do here, I think, is not put any peanut icing on here. I think I'm just going to put peanut icing around the, ed the edges here and then dump the caramelized banana on that and put the layer on top and then just use this icing around the outside. What do you folks think? Does that seem like a good idea? <clears throat> That's right, sister. That's what I thought about doing, but... I don't know that I want to use and then throw away plastic bag like that that I, I would not be using for most of the cake because I'm just going to use a, a flat uh, icing spreading thing um I don't know what the right word is but I will get it out in a second and show you well maybe not a second I will show I will show you once it is time to use it yeah I also had a piping set at one point and used it a few times. I wound up giving it away to a friend who made, because I don't make pretty baked goods. <clears throat> I make tasty ones that are usually pretty ugly. And I'm okay with that. You can have different priorities. And there are people who can make things that are tasty and pretty. I'm not one of them. <clears throat> oh, I should take pictures of this. Because I'm part of um, a Toronto bakers group. <coughs> Sorry. And I, I have shown them my ugly baking before, but I want to show them my less ugly baking. Shoe buns, interesting. And yeah, no, I'm, I'm full of proper technical terms. <clears throat> so I'm divorced now, but when I got married, like you know how like they say like you have like the moment when you find the right dress and you start crying? Well, I didn't really care so much about the dress. But I, I, I think I tried uh, 10 different bakeries. <clears throat> and when I found the right bakery, I started crying. I tasted their cake and I just started crying. It was amazing. Um, <clears throat> so that's my priority. And they wound up being pretty, but it was mostly the flavor that I wanted. And they were really good. If you are ever in the Dallas, Texas area, <clears throat> Panini Bakery is, in my opinion, the best bakery in town. And yeah, of course, unsurprisingly for anyone who knows Toronto, it is a Pals, formerly Buns, group. So here's what we've done with the icing. You can see I've made this nice little border. That's the word that Nick gave us. And I'm just going to take this stuff and plop it down in there. Well, in theory. <clears throat> Come on. Okay, well, fine. <clears throat> I'm going to use a knife that I already have. I'm just going to glop it down there. Come on, glop. No! 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 Ugh. <clears throat> it's kind of like Black Forest cake. And that it's got this like gooey middle bit. Alright. This is the first time I've done something quite like this, but I think it's really worth doing. <clears throat> All right. Oh man. Hmm. Uh, Riha, I lived in um, 
I lived in Central PA. Um, I lived in Lewisburg, which is like, what, like 40 minutes from State College, I think. <clears throat> so we had a lot of Mennonite folks. So I got to have their delicious baked goods. Okay, I vaguely know where that is. So you can see, this actually wound up being just the right height, because you don't want the um, you don't want the filling stuff to be higher than the stuff around the edge. Now it turns out I might not have needed the stuff around the edge here, <clears throat> because this isn't as runny as I thought it was going to be. But I think that it is. I think that it is just right. It's turned out exactly the way I wanted it to. So what we're gonna do now <coughs> is take this other cake, and I'm not going to cut the top off of this one because I don't care about its dome. I cut off the dome of that one so that it would lie flat like this, but this one, no you don't, I because I went to the Lewisburg Farmer's Market a lot and tried a lot of delicious baked goods. So this one's going to go on top, so it's okay if it's domed like this. So we're just going to plop it on top and make a little sandwich. Plop. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not actually a Pennsylvanian. But I did live in Pennsylvania for like a year and a half. Grew up in Texas, lived in Pennsylvania for a year and a half, and then moved to Canada. <clears throat> Look at this. Look at this beautiful thing. Look at that. It's gonna actually not be ugly. Amazing. <clears throat> okay, so now we're gonna take out the thingy. You know, I mentioned the thingy. Flat spatula? There's a name for it. I don't remember what it is. It's Wilton. It's like actually like cake brand, brand, brand. But it's not a flippy one though. See, it's 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 specifically for the thing I'm gonna do with this. <clears throat> My roommate is giving me a suspicious look, as though she is not entirely sure why this specific thing exists. So I'm just gonna dump this on here. A what? Well, no, but it's 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 totally flat though. It's not a scoop. I guess it. Well, no, but it's metal. It's for it's just it's a spreading thing. <laughs> oh man, sheets sheets was really good. Speaking of like brands of things that I expected to not be good, but then actually were. <clears throat> I don't have as much experience with Wawa because where I lived in PA, we had sheets. That's how you know that I lived in it. I call it PA. When I first moved there, one of my <clears throat> one of my really good friends who's from the Tri Valley area was like, "Okay, Lauren, here's a thing you'll you'll want to know because you like to have the right words for things." I'm not sure what we're listening to. Yeah, no, I think like I think sheets is extremely regional. <clears throat> like I think it's extremely specific to Pennsylvania and the immediately surrounding areas. <clears throat> oh, in North Carolina, huh? Okay. I grew up in North Carolina very, like very early years of growing up. So you see, if you can see this cake here, do you see why I thought the ganache might be a good addition? Because like color-wise, it's all like beigey brown. I'm gonna try to we're gonna attempt to add to put the edge like icing stuff here, good instead of bad. I'm wording. <clears throat> wording. Do the words. I'm not very experienced or good at this like making it pretty thing but I'm gonna try I want it to be pretty I don't know what we're listening to because I can't hear the music so I'm really amused oh man so Tennessee was always fun because whenever I would drive between Texas and Pennsylvania which was several times a year while I was living there um, I would get to Tennessee and the god like I just I really like southern food um, and so I'd get to Tennessee and like go to the gas station and there'd be just like sweet tea, like an entire giant section in the cooler and I'd be like, yep, I'm in the south now. Um, 
really good food. I just missed it. Oh, you know it was horrifying when I moved to Pennsylvania? But I went somewhere and I ordered chicken and waffles. And it was not... It was not chicken and waffles the way it's chicken and waffles anywhere else in the country. It's very specifically a regional thing. Just shredded, shredded chicken with gravy. Brown gravy. And I was really sad <laughs> because it wasn't good. And it also extremely wasn't what I thought it was going to be. Yeah, these plates are my roommates. I have um, Fiesta Wear plates. She has this like classic Corellia. Oh, they were her grandma's. That, that actually, they have that classic vibe. Yeah, I think it's beginning to actually look like a cake, isn't it? So proud of it. I'm gonna take so many photos of it. So with the ganache, should I try a pour? How should I do that? I'm not really, I'm not, I've never really, <clears throat> like I said, I don't usually make things that are trying to be pretty, so. Hey, answer prefix. How are you doing? You're coming in like we're, we're near, nearing the final stretch here. We're icing the cake. It's very exciting. Yeah, but Sal, the, the chicken and waffles we're talking about here are, it's, it's, it's shredded chicken with brown gravy, not fried chicken. And that's not good. Hmm. 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 My mom used to be really sad um, when I was a young adult and started baking a lot because I would bake my own cake instead of letting her bake me a cake. She's like, but it's your birthday. And I'm like, yeah, it's, it's my excuse for making whatever completely ridiculous and absurd cake I want. And I can bake it without questioning it like I might otherwise do. Let's see. Yeah, and to prefix, I was going to say, I haven't seen your name in a little bit. <clears throat> so I've been playing different games and doing different things, but I haven't done, I haven't done non-gaming streams very much lately, other than like, we had some things were stressful, so let's, let's like, talk through them in a warm and friendly space sort of thing a few times last year. Um, but other than that, like I haven't done a cooking stream in years. So this is, this is a, a return because I finally have a situation that'll work and a laptop. I'm streaming from a new laptop. She can go anywhere because she's a laptop. So that means that I am no longer tethered to where my desktop can go. <laughs> yes, it's under the same thing. It's under food and drink. And I've done streams that have both food, like cooking and baking. So I feel like you can, I don't know. I haven't done a food in the kitchen stream. How's that? I haven't done a kitchen stream in years. And I miss doing, I, I, I used to be more of a variety streamer than I've been lately, and I miss it. So I'm hoping to do more, um, more music streams. I'm also going to try to get back into those, you know, those, those, I don't know if any of you guys watched these, but the YouTube videos that I made that was like, let's talk about like feelings and life and stuff. I've got a bunch of plans for more of those that I originally started thinking about in 2019 maybe even late 2018, and never made them. So I think I might be in a good place to get back to work on those as well. So, be a, be a return to uh, <clears throat> Lauren's of the past in a good way. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I, I was actually putting together a list of, a list of them, like based on like some of my older ideas, but also wanting to do some things like like video game thematic observations now, like a few years after having beaten some games like Final Fantasy X, being like, here's my thoughts on them. 
So like, just, just doing more. Being a content creator. Because I haven't really, I hadn't really been in an emotionally stable place to work consistently on that for quite some time. And I think I finally am. So, why not? Alright, we've used the icing. We have a cake. <clears throat> it's pretty full. It's pretty heavy for its size. I did not properly center the cake on the plate. That's okay. I'm going to have to figure out what to do with the ganache. Yes, we're going to do more tarot streams. I really want to do, like it's the things, I want to do Saturday morning tarot streams because those are really fun. <clears throat> and I missed them. Oh, the ganache. The ganache is thickening up. That's good. Thanks, sister. I'm going to take a photo of the posterity in case I mess up the ganache. How am I going to do this? I've never, I've never done a ganache before properly. <clears throat> I think it's pretty. Yeah, I want to do, I want to do tarot streams. I want to do music streams. I want to do, um, I want to do, I want to make the stuff that I've always wanted to make. And I'm writing more fanfic. I'm posting a chapter of the Final Fantasy VI fanfic tonight. I'm, I've started working on the Squats King of Shinra High. So that'll be happening too. So it's like, I don't know. I've said this the past couple of years and always regretted it, but maybe 2021 is going to be the year that I actually do these things that I want to do. Yeah, but so it's not, but it's not very runny. That's the thing. It's a little too cool to really run. So I'm trying to figure out based on the texture that I've got of the ganache, like do I just plop it on? That's right, blue glass. Because I was I was on board for what was turning out to be potentially another 10,000 word chapter. <clears throat> Thanks, Chrono. Um, and it was just gonna take way, it's already been two months since the last one. So I, uh... Decided that since half of it's finished, the first half is finished and the second half is not, that I would just release the half that's finished and just keep working on the one that's not. Yeah, pouring though... Like, I don't know if you can see, but it's not really pouring. It's plopping. Plop, 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 plop. Because I let it cool a bit, because I didn't want to mit I didn't want to melt the icing that I worked on. <clears throat> so now I'm not quite sure what to do from here. I think I've got a little too, I, had, I have too much ganache to, let's see, um, <laughs> now I'm going to try to make it pretty. All right, hold on. I'm going to undo this. Well, it's not going to be pretty, but it's not going to be ugly, I don't think. I think it'll be okay. It's going to be pretty. Well, we'll see. So right now it looks really fake and artificial because I'm just pouring the ganache around the top, but I'm going to try to be a little more artistic. <clears throat> or just let the bits, maybe gravity will help. Maybe. And yeah, there's a lot of chocolate that did not make it onto the cake. Oh! Oh, okay, maybe I'll put more onto the cake once I've finished this. Yeah, Queena is not my favorite part of that game. I don't like them. I think that they detract from my experience because I would rather they spend the time... I'd rather the, the game spend the time on the characters that actually have story and feelings rather than wasting time on the character that is comic relief at best. <clears throat> but I also have a very strong no comedy bias compared to everyone else. Alright, let's see. Well, 
Ganache. It's not really pouring. I wonder what the origin of that song is, you know? <clears throat> it is, in fact, on the cake. It will not be a very impressive or beautiful looking cake, unfortunately, but maybe if I, maybe I can do like more of a, like a gradient thing. Maybe I can do that. Maybe I can do a gradient. Hmm. Thanks, thanks for that. Yeah, no, don't eat cake in bed, generally. It would be messy. I mean, you can if you want to, you know, you're a grown up, I can't tell you to stop, but. I do not have the power to stop you. I am far away and lacking the ability to do that. Well, the cake is... Hmm. Hmm. Oops. Hmm. Okay, well, see, I'm trying to make it pretty, which is not a thing I usually do, so we will see. How this turns out. I've noticed how I've gotten like quiet because I'm concentrating. It's a rare moment in which Lauren stops talking. Amazing. Can you believe it? Just didn't put enough peanut butter rising on the bottom either. <clears throat> Y'all have to clean the angled spatula off first covered in peanut butter icing, but right now I'm just gonna, just gonna smooth this out. Yeah, like if the ganache had been thinner, I could have done a, a drizzle and a pour in and all that stuff. Oh, is there tense music? Like I can't hear the music playing because I'm not wearing headphones. So I'm just like, I'm, I'm over here doing this in silence. <coughs> Oh man. Meanwhile, my friend has started singing Wii music. That's the Wii. Is that the Wii shop theme? Oh man. <clears throat> Some of my friends played that at MAGFest and they had like little me's that they'd made of like all of their friends who were there. So they had like a little me more and I was like, oh my god, <laughs> what the heck guys? It was very cute. But now whenever I hear the song, that's what I think of. All right. See, but there's a problem because I can't get the, uh, I can't get the bottom of it, see? Like, the shape of it is kind of weird. It, it slopes, hold on. I'm gonna do this. Let's see if I can make this work. Oh, it's, it's getting textured at least though. So that's cool. Hold on. And the colors are kind of swirling together and it's getting texture from the serration of the, the knife, the butter knife that I'm using. So maybe I can claim that this is intentional and art artistic. I'm being artsy. I'm making a, I'm making an artistic cake. Yeah. Yeah. I know what I'm doing. I'm a baker. You should take me seriously. Don't take me seriously. I am an enthusiastic, sloppy, and hopefully decently capable home bacon. Yes! Artist. All right. Sorry, I realize you can't see what I'm doing so well, but hey, Audio Mio, how are you doing? You having an okay day? I'm making a cake. I have dedicated, wow, 
third, how many hours? For three and a half hours to making this cake. Um, but I think it's gonna look okay and taste good. Like the components have tasted good. So I think maybe the, the, the whole total will too. So I admit I'm pushing myself harder to try to make it pretty than I normally would because I'm part of this baking group. Even though like there are a lot of us, because there's a bunch of them that are like either pro or pro level um, skill wise, but then there's a bunch of us who aren't. Um, but it's not like I feel like I'm gonna get judged so much as that like I want to show them how inspired I am by them. And I think they'll be proud of me. And I think that's cool. <coughs> okay. So if you were to look at this, you would, have, you would have no idea what was lurking inside. You would just be like, this looks like a, a cake coated in chocolate. And I would be like, oh shoot. Well, hopefully I wouldn't be like, oh shoot, but I messed it up. I messed it up. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I did it wrong. <laughs> Mm -hmm. We can fix this. Hold on. A latte art cake, maybe. trying to have a heat it up mm. well, the water is too cold for that because it's cold out for those of you who like me are not as good with metric measurements of, of, of temperature it's been like in the 20s which is very cold for this girl from Texas all right, <clears throat> now we can salvage this. Fortunately, because there's so much ganache left over, we're just gonna put ganache back on the top and it's gonna form a solid layer. Just to try to make it as pretty as I can. Hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, I think the cake is done. Ooh, yeah, it's a little bit like top heavy because I couldn't get the icing down the sides very easily. Beautiful. I think it looks pretty good though. The sink is, there's water dripping in the sink, yes. But, do you see my cake? Do you see my cake? All right, <clears throat> I'm gonna take a very brief Bathroom break. I will be back. Would you like to have a slice of cake when we get back?
Selfie, hi Momo. Oh, 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 hold on. Selfie, you want to come say hi too? You don't want to come say hi when you're going to. Yes, you are my baby girl. Oh no. Oh no. She's being retrieved from her safe and secure place. <clears throat> Here's Sophie. So you can see they're getting along okay. Sophie, Sophie. Sophie, Sophie. Aren't they cute? Look at this cuteness. Look at this cuteness. <laughs> Mo is waving goodbye. Here's my little Sophie for anyone who hasn't met her yet. She's a precious baby. A precious baby. A precious baby. You guys going out? I said, you taking her out for a bit? Okay. All right, well, Mo is going outside for a bathroom break. No, she is a tabby cat. But she's a tabby cat with a really toasty belly. It's the color of toasted marshmallows. Hey Blues, the cake turned out well. Hold on, I have to show Blues this cake. Toasty tabby. <gasps> Sophie, 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 are you a meow? Are you a meow? Yeah, I shouldn't have done that blank spot. It was not my safest decision, but I make decisions that are kind of dumb like that. Do you see what a cutie? Do you see what a cute cat she is? Oh my gosh, kitty on. Don't be baby. Don't be baby. She's a good girl. I'm standing a little bit back here so she doesn't shed kitty fur on the cake, but yeah. What a baby. What a baby. She really likes to be held, but she doesn't like to be held when I'm sitting at my chair at my computer. Quick baby cat. There you go, little girl. There you go. I will share more Sophie with you folks over time. She doesn't meow a whole ton, actually. She's usually pretty quiet. Um, when I'm streaming, she'll meow if she wants to, like, get out and do something. Like, not be in my room. Or if she is in, not in my room and she wants to get up, or get, get in my room. Hold on, I'm going to turn on the light. We have to take glamour shots of the cake. So glamour shots is, a, I feel, is a very specific place and time that glamour shots existed. It's like the most 90s US thing, but I don't know if it was like everywhere in the US or just Texas. So if anyone can confirm if you know what Glamour Shots is. It's super 90s. So those of us who are 90s kids, maybe our point to portray ourselves. I have to have, I'm gonna make this artsy. I'm gonna have like a nosh in the frame. Yeah. Yeah. Get a great photo of that. Yeah, glamour shots. <clears throat> oh man, okay. Well, I assumed that it was a very U.S. thing because it's a sort of thing that the U.S. would do. But apparently it was international, so shows what I know. Cake. 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 So next time, I will have, I will have, like, my second camera, this one is actually my roommate's camera, but I will have a second camera, whether it's hers or not, on a, a tripod so that we can point it over and see what we're doing, and then also have, if this camera is doing its job okay, um, we'll have Tough Stuff's built-in camera. Shall we cut the cake? Would you like to see that? Do it. I think we should do it. Let's cut that cake. Do it. All right. Cake. Hold on. It's 
like sword and stone. stone. Oh, oh, okay, this can turn. Wow, that's really cool. I need to get one of these. I like it. Hold on, let's get the light going so you can see the cake better. All right, let's do it. It will be easier to serve when it has chilled a little bit first. I don't care. I'm serving it now anyway because you've all been very patient. I'm actually pretty good at cutting and serving cakes <clears throat> because one of my jobs in college was at a place that ran birthday parties for kids. This is probably going to be too much cake, but you can't cut a very thin sliver to get a good view of what the cake looks like inside. Are you ready for the moment of truth? What does it look like? What's it going to look like? both hands for this probably. And I don't drop it. Oh wow! Oh wow, it looks like a cake! <laughs> ah. Oops. Look, okay. Look at what we've done. So you can see here there's the gooey cakey middle. There's the icing ring that we did. It's got the ganache. It actually doesn't have as much um, peanut butter icing as I thought, or I, I guess maybe because it's smeared in, but fortunately, because if you look at it, the outside layer is actually not very thick at all. Fortunately, the cake itself, I think, is very flavorful and moist. So let's see if we can get, or I may have to, may have to take a piece out for my roommate so you can better see the inside of the cake. <clears throat> Maybe I should, oh, I'm gonna cut her a slice. She said she cut up to a slice, let's do it. She probably doesn't want as big a piece as what I just cut. Yes, this will definitely be easier to cut when it has chilled and set some, but we're doing it anyway. Just washed my hands. <clears throat> Another piece with the gooey metal. Look at that cake. Sure, I smeared chocolate some, but I've never made any claims to be remotely professional in any way. So let's get some photos. Yeah, cake. Cake. Oops, why did it? <sighs> Gotta get the important bits, the photo. Okay, excellent. Shall we? She's back. Would you like cake? I cut you a piece. Thank you. It's pretty. I'm really happy with it. Yay. I don't know how it'll taste, but I think it's going to be okay. I'm sure it'll be delicious. Oh, Mo is wearing her little, oh, she's so cute. Oh my gosh, did the music just end? This is perfect. All right, I will hand you over a cake when you are ready. But I know you are. So one of the tricky things about living in places that are cold is that you have to put on layers of warm stuff every time you go outside. It'd be so fun. You're welcome to join on screen if you want. Or I'm high. This that was totally wonderful. fine. I hope you like it. It's so fancy. <clears throat> Observe pretty, the cake. Section. Yeah, I was really happy with how it turned out. I expected the icing to seem thicker. Um, I'm going to take another photo, but I'm happy with it. Let's see how it is. Apparently we went all the way through the soundtrack that we were listening to, so let's find out. And it may not be your thing and that's okay, it was an experiment. You said that I'm already halfway through the cake. Mm. Oh wow. 
and a ganache is thick, the peanut butter winds up being kind of, kind of subtle, almost, because there's not as much of it, but not in a bad way. Hmm. It's delicious. So the strongest flavor is definitely bananas, which I think is partly because of the gooey banana in there. So it's like, hmm. The top part, which has a chocolate, the smell it like lead it leads with the brown butter and the bananas, but the taste leads with the chocolate, and then finishes with the peanut butter. Where's the bottom part here, which has a banana filling. The smell and taste are both very strongly of banana, but you still get the um the brown butter which is nice. And then it's a, it's a, it's a light, it's a light peanut butter. Mm. And then you get to the edge, which is more of, <clears throat> you get more of the chocolate and peanut butter combination and less of the banana. So it's kind of like, hmm, it's not like a peanut butter cup, but it kind of has some of that going on, but then there's also banana. You're getting my, um, my live, I'm trying to give you the experience of eating the cake. But I think I can, I can say this is a success, can't I? I feel like this is successful. <clears throat> so never let it be said that you cannot bake a cake unless you have a recipe. Because I did not have a recipe for any of this. I didn't even like reference anything. I just like dumped some stuff. <laughs> but I have baked a whole lot. So that has definitely gone into it. I'm a cake, I'm a cake wizard. Well, thank you all so much for joining me. This has been, this has been a lot of fun. It's been a nice return to the baking world on Twitch. Um, I will do more of these. Uh, I will plan them better. <clears throat> I will have a less hideously ugly layout <laughs> in the future. Mm. Oh man. I really like, I really do like, um, is it? how does that start? This was a triumph. I'm making a note here. Huge success. It's hard to overstate my satisfaction. <laughs> I'll pitch your science. We do what we must because we can for the good of all of us except the ones who are dead so that there's no sense crying over every mistake you just keep on trying till you run out of cake and you the science gets done and you make a neat gun for the people who are still alive he changed so I, I don't, <clears throat> I don't remember that. I, I don't, did I miss a verse? I'm not even angry. <laughs> I'm being so sincere right now. Even though you broke my heart and killed me. <laughs> and tore me to pieces. <laughs> and threw every piece into a fire. As they burned, it hurt because I was so happy for you. Now these points of data make a beautiful line. And we're out of beta, we're releasing on time. So I'm glad I got burned. Think of all the things we learned for the people who are still alive. So, no, that's the key change. Oh. 
I skipped the Black Mesa part. <laughs> anyway, the cake is not, to my knowledge, a lie. I do seem to be actually putting actual cake in my real human mouth. So, there you go. And I even sang despite losing my voice. So, I think we can call this success. Baby Black Mesa, that was a joke. Ha ha, fat chance. <laughs> anyway, this cake is great. It's so delicious and moist. Look at me still talking while there's science to do. When I look out there, it makes me glad I'm not you. I've experiments to run. There is research to be done on the people who are still alive. And then she goes, the and believe me, I am still alive. I feel fantastic and I'm still alive. I'm doing science and I'm still alive. And when you're dying, I'll be still alive. And when you're... <laughs> Did she then say when, when you're dead? <laughs> Did she repeat herself? Anyway, then still alive, still alive, still alive. That's how it goes. I got it. <clears throat> I am a true professional. I'm not. I'm not a professional singer and I'm not a professional baker and I don't care because this has been fun and it's really nice to be able to celebrate my birthday with you folks because a lot of you have been like hanging around with me off and on because there have been some folks I've seen you here. Some of you talking I haven't seen a lot in a while but we, we would hang out and do streams in the past and it's nice to see your names again. And I know I say this a lot, but like, I am super, super, super grateful to have such an incredibly positive and supportive community that I can be like, like the world of Twitch has evolved <clears throat> since the last time I did these streams and like standards and expectations for what you do. Like there wasn't even like a category for, for food when I first started streaming baking. Um, and now there's like people who are like professional Twitch bright baking streamers and like I'm not but like this is super fun and it's really cool that even though like the world of this space has changed like this is still a comfortable and safe place for me to just come and have fun um, and there's room for people to have fun doing things like this um, and I was just talking actually earlier today about um, kind of this like expectation or this this feeling which is something that I was raised with which is that if you're not going to be like the best at something why bother keep doing it um, and if you can't do something with it to show that you're the best why do it um, <clears throat> I'm never gonna be a professional streamer I'm never going to be a professional singer. I'm never going to be a professional baker. But this was so much fun. Like, this was fun. You were fun to hang out with. This tastes good. Looks okay. Tastes good. And I hope that you had fun, too. And, like, at the end of the day, that's way more important than any of the rest of it. So, yeah. I have had to work really hard on trying to feel like the doing of the thing is its own reward. But I think I'm getting there, and I appreciate, I guess, the way that my, my Twitch community, the Flutie Pies, and those of you who don't consider yourselves Flutie Pies but still come and hang out with us, um, like that this has been a space where I can ask these questions and explore things and take risks and be like, I'm awkward right now on camera. And everything's kind of like I'm kind of a mess and everything's unplanned and I'm just throwing stuff in a pan to see if it turns into a cake and it's fine that's safe and I appreciate that <clears throat> and I hope you can all have some spaces where you feel safe taking chances um, and trying things out and having fun with things whether you're great at them or just really love them um, and that you can value that so this wouldn't be a Lauren stream if I didn't take it a little bit too serious um, so there we go. We just went into serious conversation topics. Serious cake-versation topics. That's a word that I just made up right now. We're going to have a cake-versation. There we go. Positive reinforcement, too. No, but I really do 
think that people need to hear these things and say these things. And it's good for me to say it because maybe it'll help me feel it. Even if I believe it, it's one thing to feel something or it's one thing to believe something consciously, but to really internalize it is harder. And so the more that I say these things over cake versations, <laughs> the more maybe I'll internalize them and like be in a better place with that myself. So take that. And yeah, I guess thank you for the happy birthday wishes and for all of your support over the past, gosh, however many years. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to doing more cooking streams. Uh, if there's anything in particular that you would like to have me attempt to walk you through making, uh, leave me a note in the, the stream chat section of our Discord. If you're not already on our Discord, um, you're more than welcome to join us. And in fact, Flutiebot has been, despite not telling everyone on Discord when I've gone live, she is doing her job here. Feel free to click that link, link and join us. We'll be happy to have you there. And let's, let's plan, let's plan some cooking. Let's do some tarot stuff. Let's do some music. Let's, let's get back into streaming as much as I want to stream and having fun and doing cool and interesting things. I think I'm finally in a space where I can do that. So let's do it. Uh, thank you all so much for joining. It's been three and a half hours. My goodness, no wonder my voice is going. Um, but yeah, keep in touch. Take care. If you're one of the people who reads my fanfic, there will be more tonight. Um, and there'll just be more stuff going on. Um, so hopefully it'll be fun. Take care of yourselves. And I will see you Tuesday when we beat Sweet Godin. Or Thursday when we consider continue Final Fantasy VII Remake. And then whatever else we do on the weekend. Bye. Good night. Take care.